That's all just say LOL to each other all day about random shit. Are we live, really? Dude, I just noticed that the gamer from Mars follows me on Twitter and I followed him back. Who? You don't know him? Gamer yeah, from Mars? I was going to say who? I was like, I don't know anyone from Mars. I just randomly <laughs> saw him. This fool. He, he makes videos just talking about all random internet shit. You never seen him before? Looks kind of familiar, but he looks like every other he YouTuber. He also looks I've like seen. the Ginger Has No Souls kid. Yes. <laughs> Isn't he trans? Oh, wow. No, that's real. Know. You know, you don't know that, dude. I'm like so completely removed from y'all random in, like shit. The like, ginger has no souls. Kid is trans now. I will. Look. He's a bitch. I thought ginger. No, has, not, not a I bitch. Thought, a woman. Like, I thought what, gingers what, what? had no souls came from uh, South Park. No, they utilized that because oh, of the meme. This kid. That kid, yeah. Can you see? Wait one sec. It's kind of hard to type with this glove. <laughs> One glove? What is that? So what? I could just touch these. MJ. Part oh, so the things that you want to touch, you touch with the with the glove. That's pretty cool. I like that. But then you have a free hand. You never know? seen this dude ever. You've never life. seen this? Nope. You weren't around on the internet back then. He was in That's a jerking crazy. crew at the time when yeah, stuff was, like that was happening. I was fucked up in a crib with no internet. I guess. No, you were you were in a jerking crew in 2007, right? <laughs> You look like a jerk. <laughs> no, but am I lying? You were in a jerking crew, right? No. This You're will a jerk. be you if you were gender. Okay. They Anyways. can't see those images, but the guy Sorry. looks like he has a cheese ball head. You ever see cheese balls? No, but I eat. That's these, not a Korean thing. I eat these fucking asteroids that kind of look like it. It's kind wow. of so same good. concept. I'm, I'm addicted to these. So you you are addicted to those new product. They just brought that to market. Yeah, they Yuri, it back. Yuri got me hooked. I brought it back. Yuri. Yeah, it was like a. Yeah. I remember they've had they had when this we when I was when I was younger. You need a Red Bull or something? No, I'm good. Let's I get you, let's get you some wings. We need like energetic house All right, hey Yuri. We need tequila Yuri. shots. Give us a, a Red Bull or some cocaine, no ketamine. Do you have any sort of stimulants? Adderall, Ritalin? No. No. Yuri said no. He had to think about Yuri it. Said Shockingly. No. <laughs> Shockingly. Is, are you watching Game of Thrones right now? I just started. I know, because I watched you do a Kandama trick, and then the, the theme music was playing in the background. Well, you saw it on his Instagram? Remember? Yeah, he's doing a Kandama trick, and I heard his girlfriend while he's doing it, too. <gasps> Like she's super happy in the background, and and meanwhile in the background, dun 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 Watching Game of Thrones, waiting for Yuri to finish this kind of trick. Waiting for Yuri to land this no trick. Comment. That's how I imagine it. Wait, in my was, she, head. was she like basking in his greatness because he landed the trick? Yeah, she That's, was. She was overjoyed. Supportive GF. Are you guys okay? You're all looking at the computer like that fucking yeah. meme of little Dirk and Young Thug. <laughs> who's Young Thug? I'm just thinking something yeah, who's bad's young, going on. Who's, I think Yuri's Young no, Thug. No, Josh has to be a little Dirk because he's sitting down, right? And Thug no. is the one who's like I'm over him, yeah. like uh -huh. feeling Yuri vibes. Hey, um, elephant in the room. I don't have a beard anymore. You look. You still have a little. Look, and also, everyone, please start bring it down. We're recording here. You look less scary, like I said before. But then now that I'm like kind of like Wait. this close to you, it's kind of scary Hold again. On. Scary, like he's a scary ass nigga, or a scary oh, ass. Oh, uh, this fuck. again. Which, which, which scary? one? Um, which scary? The one where I'm scared of you. The way that everybody on Earth, besides like Young Chop, <laughs> uses it. <laughs> that kind of scary. So I look less scary. No, but then when you get closer, you look more scary. I feel like I, I, because I didn't get a clean shave and I didn't go to a barber or anything. I just sort of chopped my own sideburns and I kind of like. I see the young chop. I kind of like the the, uh, the stubble instead of the, the full naked. Do beard. you? Because I don't like getting my fucking facial hair all the way down to the skin. It feels kind of yeah, weird. Kinda weird yeah. I feel like I look weird right now because the hair has been protecting my face from getting sunburned mm. and stuff for the whole summer. So it's kind of like I have a pale face thing going on. I think. Similar vibes. You know. Similar color. I'm, I've been ha having a pale face, but now in particular my, yeah. my beard. I usually thing. keep, even if I chop the beard, I usually keep the mustache and the little chin. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever kept just this? When he walked in, it was the mask was, was pulled down, and I thought really you good. had a Rick Ross beard for Do some for reason, people. and it, it was just like was so funny to me. Am, like, I, that, am I that dark skin that y'all thought that this? It's was... not that. It's just the it, the color of your fucking beard is exactly the color of. Well, my hair the is mask. black. That's well, why. Yeah, no shit. Have you ever thought about growing out a Philly beard? No, because um, you and Freeway could could do some work together. I just like I feel like it's just gonna make me look <laughs> even more like an uncle, and I don't want to look like an uncle. Well, then then you, sent, you know? if you had a Freeway beard, then you're not gonna be able to do the my brother thing without it being what? like super realistic. And then I would have to wear a fucking a kufi. <laughs> Oof. Gotta get a koofy, man. What happened to wearing the dashiki? Yeah, what happened to that? You Liar. know, I never actually wore the dashiki. I never. 
I know, but that's why we need you to wear it. Yeah, you need to wear it next week. No, that was the conclusion that I came to as soon as I saw the dashiki. Is I absolutely should not put this on. This would be a very Do weird look for me. You still have it in me. your closet. I don't know that I ever had it. I think <laughs> no, you know, I think I had it in my trunk for a long store. time, and then I think I might, I might have gave it to like Hesh or like one of the homies oh ended God. up wearing it who actually like Hesh with one. pulled it off and made it look kind of like fashionable. Whereas with me, it would be more like a cultural appropriation, but not like not like genuinely appreciating the culture. I think everybody would have taken it as me just straight up like being disrespectful. Respectful. Okay, what if you were like on some yes jewel shit in Africa, fucking doing like a give, like you know, give back charity work, and then they gave and you the yeah, dashiki you. and you had to wear the dashiki? I mean, I was given the dashiki by a very nice young African gentleman. But I'm saying, and what I if still you, was just like, no, what if you were care. in the setting? You're in Africa, you're doing charity work, and they're like, my brother Adam, yeah, we bless you with the gift. We bless you with the gift, my friend. You know, I actually went to Africa and didn't <laughs> do anything that seemed particularly offensive while there. I, but I also didn't wear anybody's, you know, garb. Did you go to Africa? I know. I think it was before I was no jumper Adam. Yeah, it was like 2014 or so. I was a. Uh, so what is the point of the all these like bike trips? You guys want to bike on different terrains? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like, I mean different videos. But that one in particular, like we went to Cape Town. It was kind of like, why the fuck are we here? <laughs> like it's yeah, just like it, it was not that great riding wise. The weather was insane. I mean, it was dope as fuck to go there. Yeah. But it was like for the it, purpose of biking, it made no sense. I you would know, definitely yeah. want to see you do some tricks in like the safari. It was Cape Town. I don't know what you've heard about it. But it's not, <laughs> yes, not really the safari. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Cape Town is like the safe no. place for white people to go to when you go to Africa. I mean, it's like mostly white people out there, but yeah. it's, it's, it's kind of fucked up when you like mm. see go to offensive. what extent like the people who seem like they have money and they're just hanging out uh, are, are white, and then the people who are working in like the restaurants and shit are black, and you're kind of like, oh. The remnants of like yeah. apartheid and all this bullshit out here is it could right look there. Wow. It's like way more recent than a lot of our what racist about stuff. Johannesburg? Yeah. I have never been there. That's so. somewhere I want to go. No, but, but like it's funny to think about like because all I ever heard from trips like that is like people going to places, getting like like doing their tricks in the day, getting smashed at night and fucking girls, and then <laughs> going to the next city. I didn't fuck any girls out there, but. That would have been I'm not cool, saying in Africa necessarily, but I always hear that about these trips. Like, yeah, we got plastered, dude. Like BMX, we, like rock star. And tours. we fucking Eiffel Towered this bitch, bro. Uh. At the at the bar afterwards. <laughs> I never Eiffel Tower. I don't want to touch the homies' hands. You look like I don't want to touch Tower. the homies at all. Yeesh. Okay. Anyway, let's transition right out of that. Can I talk about um, Dame Dash coming for me over coming over the weekend and stuff? No. Please Man, relay the he's sitting at home saying, pause. Um, yeah, he just paused the fuck out of that. No, I don't know. I know exactly what triggered him or what made him upset. It was that basically like Vlad, every time I go on Vlad, Vlad does not really care for Dame Dash. So Vlad will bring up Dame Dash over and over and like basically mm -hmm. try to get me to talk about him. I don't really have that much to say about Dame and stuff. So I was having the conversation, but I don't know. Dame, Dame basically got mad. Posted the clip on his Instagram. It's down now for whatever reason. But, I mean, I don't know exactly what he was so... The, the main thing that it seemed like he was mad about is the fact that I made a comment about him when he was on this uh, this this family therapy show. Mm -hmm. How and long I, ago was this? This was a couple months ago, maybe. Yeah. And I just basically said that that clip was fucking crazy and fucked up and sort of disturbing. And I don't know if you guys seen it. Mm -hmm. It is fucking weird, dude. Because he's, he's arguing with his kids, and his kids are, like, grown or, like, almost grown. They're in their, like, late teens or early mm -hmm. 20s or something like that. Okay. Yeah. And he's calling them dumb. And, like, just the way he's arguing with them is fucking crazy. And I feel like almost anybody who see this clip, I mean, that was the reaction from the internet when they saw this clip, was that this clip is fucking crazy. It's not like I said anything particularly out of the ordinary there. But Dame's reaction was basically to say, oh, that show was a setup and they, you know, it wasn't a respectable show, whatever. Okay, cool. I, all I did was see this piece of content that was out there on the internet. If you think that my analysis of it, if your only way of arguing back against that is to say, that the show was fucked up, it's like, okay, maybe the show was fucked up. I'm just saying that what I saw in terms of, and I don't know how fucked up the show could possibly be to make Dame seem different in that situation in terms of how he was dealing with his kids or talking to his kids. It mm -hmm. just doesn't, I don't understand how the, they could have manipulated that footage to have made it something that it wasn't because yeah. to me it just seemed fucking crazy. But anyway, that, that I think that was the only thing that he could have been mad about. And uh, 
Yeah, he got angry what? as fuck and he went on a crazy or think, not a crazy, but he, he went so. wild out on me. It seemed more like he was like just mad that you guys were talking about him just in general. Like, you know, you he guys probably him up doesn't like Vlad very much. I don't think he likes yeah. Vlad. Yeah. No, I mean I would agree, but this is the thing: is that Vlad was talking all about how he doesn't think Dame Dash respects anybody and how Dame yeah. like Vlad. Vlad kind of leaned into it. Vlad sure. even hit me. Well, Vlad brought him up in the first place. Yeah. I wouldn't have been talking about Dame Dash otherwise because I did those three episodes of the show, decided that I didn't think that the conversation was going anywhere, mm -hmm. and then that was it. You and feel like he was just getting into your, like he was just like relentless on you and like just wouldn't let up my attitude about dame was and what really kind of soured me on the whole thing was when we had that conversation where he asked me five million times like how do you know what black people want and that that was his only reaction in this was to repost that clip and yeah. try to call attention to that clip and this is the actual problem and this is why i stopped doing the podcast with dame in a more literal sense is because i was trying to have a nuanced conversation with dame I never was saying what black people want. I wasn't trying to be a person deciding what black people want. He yeah. was able to take a tiny little piece of what I was actually saying because what I was actually saying in context was I was saying that I thought that the reaction that I was seeing to Kanye's most recent album was that people wanted to see him, his fans wanted to see him address a lot of the things that had been going on publicly and a lot of that stuff was him publicly supporting Donald Trump. Yeah, but and you fucked up by wording it. You literally you, worded you it. Word it, <laughs> it is what it is, but nine, you know? 99 out of 100 people that you would have that conversation with would no, not course, do Dame what Dame, Dame did, where he fucking <laughs> yeah, took he that one off. little piece of the conversation yeah. where I was saying something that was so innocuous and really not controversial at all, and I still will sit here and say that Dame, Kanye's fan base wanted to hear him address a lot of that Trump stuff or wants that Trump stuff to make sense. But that, for me, like, as a Kanye fan... I'm like, I have a hard time listening to Kanye and taking him seriously when I know that he supports Donald Trump in the way that he does. And if he wants me to take him seriously as a public thinker, he has to make his support of Donald Trump at least sort of make what? sense to me. And that's what I was saying. But Dame, Dame did the thing that Dame does that prohibits Dame from having a real conversation with anybody yeah. is that he treats Pinpoint. conversation like fucking warfare. And he will take something that I said in that situation where I obviously was not saying that I know what black people fucking want or whatever. I was saying that I thought that Kanye needed to answer for his support of Donald Trump. And he will take I think that was his whole twist point. the whole thing. No, his whole point his though whole is point manipulating what you're saying into something that you weren't saying but and then also, arguing with you about look, something that you never said also you you were like deflecting the fact when he was trying to say that like okay it don't matter like kanye doesn't care what the people wants he is like an artist and he's gonna do what the artist wants to do and he does he's not he doesn't feel like he needs to explain himself and he said that a couple he dame said that a couple times but too. does anyone actually believe that kanye doesn't care about not the public response care. to what he does because he doesn't care but it's like, I, I do believe that kanye is doing what is in his heart to some extent mm -hmm. But I also think Kanye clearly cares about the results. I mean, this is somebody who's more concerned about money and fame and numbers, et cetera, than but like Dame anybody. Said, like Dame said, he, he stole what? He still sold like 300000 or something the first week. His album still did good. And he like he like culturally Listen, did any, some different shit. Any Kanye West album is going to come out and do a numbers. couple hundred thousand yeah, sure. uh, equivalents of sales in its first couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. There is absolutely no doubt that that's always going to happen, at least for the mm. foreseeable future, for say, Kanye so? West. Yeah. Okay. He could put out, literally, he could put out an eight-song EP of okay. him <laughs> farting, and it would do 100,000-plus streams at of least. him farting, because that's how many people listen to Kanye and want to yeah. hear what Kanye has to say. We need to talk about that album right now. Has, did that album make a big cultural impact? I wouldn't say that it made a cultural impact, but like... I would say the cultural impact is the lack of impact, is the fact that this was the first Kanye album in which there was no everything. serious impact. We but all talk you, about the Sunday the Sunday service. Cool. That, that kind of all... Yeah, but I say that all encompasses with, within each other is the fact that like he fucking had people at Coachella going to church on Sunday morning that usually would probably not get up Right. Until fucking 4 p.m. and go watch Travis Scott, you know. But has that? Like, but but is has there like been a cultural mom, ramification like outside mom? of the actual act of him doing that? Do you see a whole lot of people getting way more into Christianity within hip hop because of that? Bro, my I don't mom, think so. my mom, who is an older Christian black woman who does not listen to rap music at all, 
it was like so blown away that Kanye's doing this like fucking church service and that's really good. And like she was like, I want li to. She listened to his album now because she like she knew like what he was about. I we haven't talked about it that deep, but we just talked about this the other day randomly, and I was like, oh, like, and you know what? I would agree that that album probably has made a massive impact or has sent shockwaves you know? through the gospel community, through the church or just, community, or just through people that oh. no normally like. You just drop your phone yeah. every five seconds. I know. Crack it. Or, or um. <laughs> It was like sitting in my lap or like not even that it like th that it just it got more people into it like broadened his horizon onto more people that probably would have not been into his music as much right okay but fair enough enough about the kanye album because i did have that conversation that wasn't the part that was controversial dame decided to get controversial because he wanted to talk about that part of me and vlad talking you slipped and up though and said that though yeah, you said, you, but you, you said guys the words, i don't understand you how you guys words. don't get this though because that, if you what, actually I watch what, you, what i actually I, I said it's I not the whole thing. it's not hard to figure out what's going on in that conversation yeah, what he you, did he definitely did a great it. job at painting it as if i was saying something that i was obviously not saying but it's not like you need to be like a really advanced podcast watcher to tell what dame is doing in that moment it's no, so it. fucking obvious that he's just taking this moment <laughs> and using it to create this narrative that just was not there and would not have been there if he didn't do this and that's the whole thing that Dame always does, and that's why, from my perspective, you didn't say it though, buddy. But you're you're feeding into this notion that <laughs> what he, that that what I did was <laughs> self -evident, evidently what I was doing there. What and he made what it into, doing? but and that's but, the whole thing is that for you, you're having a hard time even like remembering that I conversation outside of the fact that he took one thing that I said out of context and then repeated it 500 fucking times to the point. I mean, nobody still can say that I actually was saying that I know what black people want. I was talking about what Kanye West fan base wants him to explain about his support of our very, very racist president. It seems like a pretty modest thing to expect Kanye to comment upon from my perspective. And you can tell me if I'm wrong, but I don't feel like I said anything even slightly fucking edgy in that moment. And I didn't for say you said it the, the edgy, fact that Dame is still doubling down on it. And I also saw that Waka Flocka commented and said, I agree with Adam in this situation, mm -hmm. which I don't know exactly what he was referring to. Shout out Waka Flocka, though. Did you ever watch that episode of Everyday Struggle with him? I still have. I was I telling you, did, you guys suck. Dude, this is literally the most best, like, Financial literacy, okay, like it. it was fucking beautiful. To watch Waka Flocka go from hard in the paint to the way he was speaking up there, it was fucking beautiful. Yeah, it I really inspired like, uh, me, honestly. He's been on this journey for a while. I though. know, but it was like it all cultivated into this one moment of me hearing him, and he sounded so intelligent and such like a changed man and such like like he sounded like Hotep, Hotep Flocka Flame. Like, <laughs> what, what does that mean? I don't know. Hotep <laughs> means like woke, I guess. Does it? I've oh, heard a couple like people that. said that and been like, what the fuck does that mean? I don't know, dude, but it was fucking... <laughs> you just said it know, and now you're admitting you don't know what it means. I don't know what it actually means, but I know that Waka Flocka was woke Is as fuck. Yes, exactly. If that just means... I hope it doesn't mean woke. Because then you're going to... No, it's, it's, like, it's just like you're like, you know, like... No, but the Royce album, he said it a million times. And I still didn't really pick Maybe up on what it means. Like you're enlightened. Honestly, I yeah. think I did Google it, I'm and now Google I'm forgetting. Right now. Yeah, Google, Google yeah. it. Google it right now. Okay. My, my Googler right here. Keep keep the combo going. I'll no, but Google um, it. yeah. So how how is this your Exit response this to Dame? This is my response to this like non-existent thing that Dame has tried to paint me as having said that I didn't actually say. Yeah, and that's why I don't really even like feel the need to engage in this argument all that much. It just doesn't seem like I'm not really interested in having a <laughs> conversation. <laughs> what does it mean? This is the first meme that comes up. Dude. Wait, what's uh, the Hotep is, a, is an Egyptian word that roughly translates to, to be at peace. The word also refers to an offering ritually presented to what? To, we need to know like its current like I don't know, use. Dude. What is Hotep? A very smart brother explains. Exactly. Wait, well, let's go to the Urban Dictionary definition. Mm. It is a, com a common ver greeting with people well-versed in true world history. My it brother. means peace or I come in peace. My brother. Hotep. My brother. It does basically mean you work, know? I guess, yeah. And like, you know, you, like you wearing your kufi with your natural dreads. I'm going to have to hear a lot more people say this in context for me to actually like figure out how it's supposed to be used. I think. Walk the flock is woke. That's all you need to know. Okay, I support that. Anyway. Wait. Oh, okay. And, and Adam ready? 22 doesn't no, no, care okay. about I, black I, 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 just, <laughs> I just watched what he said. I do. I just want to say this is that. The reason why I stopped doing the podcast with Dame is because I'm not really interested in having conversations with people who don't want to have like an honest conversation about ideas. And with Dame, it was just became so obvious in that moment that like, 
oh, he would way rather use this this moment to sort of twist our conversation into something that's going to like let him win. And it's like, I get that impulse because I am a very argumentative person too. And I've identified it in myself where you're having an argument with somebody and you don't really want to keep arguing with them. And you feel like they might have a point and you basically just take one thing that they say and you just sort of twist it and you manipulate it until it just seems like it's actually making a point. And that's not how you win an argument. And, uh, I don't really, like, the, like the, the greater conversation that me and Vlad were having there was basically that if you introduce people into your life because mm-hmm. of doing content, whether it's doing interviews, whatever, if you interest or inter- introduce toxic people into your life, eventually you'll have to deal with that. And he was using Benzino as an example, saying that he did a whole bunch of Benzino exa- uh, interviews mm-hmm. where Benzino was talking shit about Eminem, blah, blah, blah. And then Benzino wanted to do another one talking a bunch of shit about Eminem. And Vlad was like, mm. nah, you know, I- I'm good. I don't want to do it about that topic. That. And then Benzino aired Vlad out, called him a white supremacist, yada, yada, yada. And what the fuck happened in this interview is that basically I stopped doing a podcast with Dame Dash. We had a small sliver of a conversation about it and Dame flipped the script and decided I'm a white supremacist all of a sudden. And the real reason I don't give a shit and that I haven't really been bothered by it is because of the fact that he was always saying this shit. He was always calling me racist on the podcast was, and it, n- I never took it serious then. Yeah. So why would I start taking it serious now? It's, what was he saying when we were there? Like something about, um, you don't know politics, so don't speak. And then he yeah. has the other lady. Oh, no, no, no. It was... <laughs> He was on your ass. No, boy. when uh, you don't know what you're talking about, so stop talking. No, he says stuff like that in conversation. Like th- this is all coming down to Dame basically denying that he is a rude, inconsiderate person. Dame, that is the most self-evidently obvious thing ever about him is that you can't have a conversation with him he's a total jerk to everybody that he's ever met when you meet him you maybe get like a small buffer in which he's kind of nice to you and uh he basically like surrounds himself with people that won't say no to him and that will just basically be along for the ride of him just sort of wiling out and it's so obvious like anybody who goes to his space that he's pretty much just surrounding himself with people who are going to actually just agree with everything he says and whatever he wants to do. But you'll notice that, like, who does Dame actually have relationships with in the industry? Like, he doesn't do content with anybody. He doesn't, like, you know? And it's, it's like, I wanted to do content with Dame so bad, but he's such a prick that it's just you can't really... Vlad called it. Vlad was right. Vlad, right. Vlad is 100% right about Dame Dash. I can say that for sure, yeah. You think anyway, you, you think you just couldn't take it and you were just getting in your ass too much? But who can take it? That's the question. Is who, I, felt unco- who ha- I felt uncomfortable sitting Who in has Dame had relations? Who has Dame tried mm-hmm. to make a show with that it worked out? Nobody. And this is Dame Dash. He knows every fucking person in the music industry. Who did, who, you know, it's like he could do a Maybe show with anyone. Maybe he's too truthful for the world. I don't know about that. I don't, I don't really no, agree with that. No, he's doing a show with uh, Dave and Sebastian. Is he? I did see On that. Instagram Live. He sent I it to me. I did see that. Really? <laughs> Yolo, there you go. I'm with it. Was on Quibi? Can we? Oh, can, y'all oh, got a no. Quibi deal? Mm. What the fuck is Quibi? I don't know. That. <laughs> it's like this new startup, weird. like a video thing, and it's all like, it's like movies Zoom. and TV shows, but it's everything's ten minutes or less, and it's like an app, and you got to pay like five bucks a month, I think, and it's like they did so much content for it and according to everybody who's been on it it's stupid as fuck i have not been on it personally but mm. oh, so it's like it's like tiktok but 10 minutes <laughs> i guess so yeah, it, yeah. it's like a short tv it's like you said it could be a tv show like or whatever form. yeah it's or just a movie you know, but it's 10 minutes they long. created this stupid fucking platform of all this stuff and i've, I've heard it's pretty dreadful diss us being like oh you probably have quibi deals it's just, I need a Quibi deal. Quibi, get at me, bro. No, you, the the joke there is just that it seems like Quibi is doing like a deal to create some content with like fucking everyone under oh, the sun. Cool. Chrissy get, Teigen has a show. I don't know what the some, fuck let's she's get some doing. Quibi deals in. I'm let's down go. to well, do a Quibi thing. Some of the people who have Quibi deals are fu- it's fucking huge, like Chrissy Teigen and stuff. Yeah. Um, some of it is maybe like being a mom. I feel like. Chrissy Teigen her, versus the world. I see Chrissy Teigen doing a Live lot on of Quibi. cute mom stuff, mom stuff. on uh, on Twitter. Seems like she would be a pretty good mom to be quarantined with. No, but it's funny because she she'll, she'll like make jokes and like curse and shit too, and it's like a little raunchy. So she's Is like she? a little, yeah, a yeah, little bit. Yeah, she's super funny on Twitter. Yeah, she's like funny uh, on me and Lena's family channel. I said shit, and the editor didn't bleep it out. Oh, how dare they? I don't think it's a big deal because the Ace family says shit, but. To me, I really wanted to keep our uh, channel profanity free, so I was a little 
that's gonna be kind of hard for you. Yeah. Also, no, wait, it's, it's a very limited, never, tiny section. Also, of my life. you better not ever yell at your kid ever because they're because you're gonna be in complete contra contradictory. Listen. <laughs> I saw the way Dame was yelling at those kids, and if you I ever yell at my kids like that, then I feel as if I deserve whatever fucking flack I, I get for it. I haven't seen this video, so I, I can't say see, if you I would or not. It but was bad. It's just it not the way bad? you should talk to anybody in your life, never mind your fucking kids. <laughs> All right. They're your kids, dude. It's just, I don't know. I thought it was pretty fucked up, but hey. Speaking of uh, more people that hate you, mm. Young Chop. Young Chop oh, also uh, chimed in, in I oh, touch you with but but hand. the thing about Young Chop hating me now apparently because I did notice that he commented on Dame Dash's post and said fuck that n word I believe. Um, the goofy. thing is, it's w- goofy. Them yeah, two yeah, yeah. should make a show he, together. He a goofy. Fire, uh, young Chop definitely got a Quibi deal for sure. <laughs> Dame Dash, Young Chop, Quibi on deal. Quibi. <laughs> on Quibi, on Quibi, coming No, um, Young Chop with his big head ass. He um. It's weird that to have him. Comeback. Yeah, is you got a big head. No, his, the weird thing about that is just that he hates everybody right now. All of a he sudden, it's like, oh, he hates me. It's also French he's Drake. Pull up on you. Meek is. I don't know who the hell he's he cool with. Drake too. He's cool with Kevin. He, 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 he put out this song about Drake. Wow. I didn't listen I to that. it. That's the problem. Young Chop Wild. Wow, Young Chop is like six nine right now. Except that like the videos get less views. But he's going in. I saw him and G Erbo going at it too. He reposted this actual. Like That's a clip from this podcast. He did. That That's kind of good for us, right? He tagged us and was like, Adam22, you goofy as hell. Trev, can you put the fucking the, the thing up so that I can at least see the viewer count or whatever? We like to have that on the side of that monitor. Goofy um, as hell. I was reading the comments. They were pretty funny. Was it, were they? Yeah. We're, some okay. dude, we're the feds. We're the some police. Some dude put this long ass comment about how when Hakeem and Vel got into the fight on uh, Melrose, like... How, Hakeem did not do shit in that fight, for the record. That was all Vel. Yeah, no, but they were saying But he that, was defending Hakeem. No, this guy was not defending Hakeem. This guy in the comments was no, like... No, Lavelle was defending Hakeem. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. Yeah, no, but this guy in the comments was like, oh, uh, tell Vel I still need that fade and, and, and tell oh, Hakeem... Oh, the guy from Seattle right? who, actually, who he actually beat up? Nah, it was like his homie, and like, cause he was like tagging the dude that that got beat up. Wait, it this was, is in the this is in the, the young, young chops, chops comments. Oh yeah, he was like, <laughs> that's like, where he decided to call bro, Lavelle bro, out. Bro, I, gotta, I gotta go find it. Lavelle. It's too funny. One thing I will tell you about Lavelle is that Lavelle is a person who does not care about almost anything as much as he cares about his ability to beat a motherfucker up. up. He mm. is so uh, he, dedicated young chop took it off. to beating people up. To just you know, he's just like. Anytime there's any kind of energy, even like, you know, obviously sometimes I I like I, when I pay him to do security for me, it is what it is. But like, Vel, if someone even looks at me wrong, is so ready to beat them up. And it's just, okay, it's good ready? energy to have around. Are you ready? Yeah. You have it? Yeah. yeah. All right. So this is about Adam. And the nigga lied, on, it lied and didn't do an update on I am Mr. Mosley's court case. He got a platform, but he ain't trying to help. Nobody but himself and the few square niggas he fuck with at Lil House Phone. <laughs> That's what the guy. Just That's what this random, random guy, guy said. Let the nigga Vel. Let that nigga Vel know I still need that fade, blood. Quit hiding. I'm a beat bro up. The way oh he tried to pack God. out, uh, tried to pack out blah blah blah. A young black man over walking through y'all punk ass vlog on Melrose. Listen, all I know is that Vel, if you send that <laughs> screenshot to him, Vel will gonna, find him and will pull up to his crib just to shoot the fair one for sure. Out. I'm not going to do that. Yo, I had a weird, like, you know what, how it's weird when you're, like, your friend groups, like, me and, like, people that. who it's normally, and they start to, like, figure out that they have shit in common. That happened to me the other day because I'd be with AD, like, multiple times a week fire. doing the yeah, news. That was yeah. fire. And then Vel was here. Oh, I love and that. as soon as I see them in the, in the same room, like, AD is Compton Crips. Lavelle is just from Long Beach, so it's like just by being in Long Beach, you're kind of like an honorary crip, even yeah. though you don't gangbang. Just, and yeah. I just like see them together. And I'm like, they could be best I'm like, friends. Oh, y'all have not met. I'm like, oh my god, this is so funny. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm like, yo, I'm like, Bell's grandma lives in Compton. You're from Compton. Let's talk. Let's bring them together. Let's Look talk. Let's <laughs> wrangle the niggers up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was I was thinking like you guys both have kids. Your kids could play. <laughs> Why do you want them to be best friends so know. bad? AD don't you live post, in Inglewood anymore. You posted either, a video Compton, of like sorry. AD like sitting at the table and then yes. Bell like right in front of him and they looked like 
the best is the It friends. would have been even funnier if you were there because then I got another weird, like, crip adjacent <laughs> guy that's, like, in my friend group that does not, like, obviously. Crip adjacent? You, you've been friends with Vel. Like, you know Vel. Shout out Vel, man. But you, don't, you ain't been around AD that much, right? No, no, no. So no. that would be, that would be even funnier. Like, look, here's the, so then you have Compton, Compton Crip. Lavelle is like Long Beach, like crip adjacent, crip. and then we have like, like ketamine crip, <laughs> and that's pretty cool. That but, was kind of funny. And you can't. <laughs> do we have to spell ketamine different for the crip thing? Yeah, with a C. With a C. Yeah, with ketamine with a C. Ketamine. I don't like that. I don't like that. Yo, at all. that was actually kind of funny. I can't even hold you. No, but that that was such a weird moment. And then you want to know what me and Ad and Vel ended up doing? Is we ended up sitting around, and there's a website. I'm not going to say the URL. It is the most violent. It's, oh, it's, full of, it's full of clips of things that are too violent to, to go on Worldstar. Worldstar or to go on any kind of site like that. So, Jeez. like, examples of things that I saw on this website that Lavelle showed me. Um, <laughs> well, uh, 2400 concurrent? Oh, that's a pretty cool. Oh, wow. This looks Why totally this different. Way cooler, what is yeah. this? It changed up big time. Man, it looks so weird with Look, no beard. It looks cool. Okay, what happened, though? Um... Oh, okay. Examples I saw like a cartel beef where one one guy cut off uh, oh another guy's God. face, so he's still like alive. This. But he, and you see his eyes; his eyes are moving. No. He has no face, so the face was cut off. Um, I saw another one. It's like That's a body. Me squirmish. It, I, it was like a body in Brazil in the favelas or whatever, and it says like you know blah 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 gang beef in the favelas. And he's literally boom 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 like filming himself like shooting this guy multiple like multiple dead bodies just shooting them and you wanted to watch this i mean these two psychopaths are watching it so i just sort of got caught up in it honestly like 20 20 25 minutes i'm like all right i'm gonna take my laptop and go in the other room because it was a lot like it's watching like a guy whose face is already really bloody and almost dying and then the guy's filming with his iphone and sh like with a knife mm. It takes a certain kind of person to want to watch that shit, dude. I don't, yeah, I don't really want to watch that, but I'm kind of down. I get their face cut off and their eyes are so moving, I'm done. Yeah, and, and then Lena started getting mad at me because oh, I started I bringing Lena it start up. Lena started getting into it. No, Lena, I started telling Lena starts watching it, too. No, because we <laughs> saw something on a off. TV show. We saw something on a TV show where it was like, oh, like a guy's about to get his face cut off or whatever. And I'm like, I saw that earlier for oh real on a video on an iPhone. And she was just like, I don't want to hear about it. Stop talking about these murders you saw. I'm like, all right, my bad. <laughs> what's, anyway. what's so bad about mur be, what about murders? I mean, oh my God. what's so bad about Uncle Murder? Murder Mook. You know what? I have I have a great idea for you. You should become the new Uncle Murder because Uncle Murder does the thing that Skills used to do, or is it Skills where you put out a song about the year and everything that happened uh, that year? You, you should do, do that, you but do for like job. ketamine warehouse rap. Yo, honestly, I would be really good at what Kim said. Yeah, I would be mm. good. Not the ketamine one. Not the ketamine rap. But whatever. the year wrapped up. I could do it. I could. I do feel that. like it would be better than our year wrap up bullshit. Uh, but we I'm did. trying to think of like like Lil Tracy had a heart attack. Or, like boom, there. I mean, that was like a couple years ago. But like that what? that that could be part of your underground rap rap, rap. and it, it would be really hard not just underground. It but. would be hard to draw the line and like what is the stuff that you're talking about. But you could be like you know. Uh, because I'm not going to be talking about what happened on Love and Hip Hop this year. But no, because I'll, you don't even know who Alexis Sky is. And AD agreed with me when I brought that up the other day that, like... It was crazy? That, that's weird. It was weird. crazy that, that I didn't like, know who that was. That, like, to, to him, like... But I know, like, Tahiri, and I know, like, all the other... Like, I know, like, mm -hmm. Bria Miles. I know... I, know, I don't know who that is. Was exactly. Joe Budden married to Tahiri? Mm -hmm. Not married. Well, I, I know, like, other I big booty popular right. bitches. I just... This one specific one, I didn't know. You can let it go. Yeah. This no, one. It's, it's fine. But, this I mean... One. Yeah, just I one. mean, I just don't see myself just as like one. I'm not the kind of person that's gonna know about Jennifer Aniston. I'm gonna know about Ale Alexis Sky. But like, I know about or like uh, YFN Lucci's ex, I know about, I know like, Lane's daughter. She know, broke up with him because of the the cucumber deep throating. I, I know, know like the today. real the real Kyle the real Kyle sister or whatever. Who uh, Ari the Don? Oh, I had to post her for a Fashion Nova post the other day. And by the way, look at these pants, everybody. Wow. wow. I like the black stripes. These yeah. are Fashion Nova pants. Rally I went in the stripes. closet the other day, grabbed these, threw them on. I feel like a million bucks. Like 20 bucks. Right? Not a million. Anyway, shout out to Fashion Nova. I got these new Fashion Nova jeans on. You should come oh, over yeah. sometime. I'll, I'll, I'll lace you with some with the Fashion Nova pack. I need to get laced with the Fashion the Nova fucking, no, brand, you need to get brand laced ambassador. With the, the 22 chain. What about you? Oh, no, not the 22 the, chain. The, the no jumper, jumper chain. chain. Oh, yeah. that's what coming soon. Me? Do I like Fashion Nova? Do you have Fashion Nova in your collection? Do they make children's sizes? Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> just, I, I was about to look I at you like, should I, should I lie? Just shoot back at him. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, did, did they have an 80 year old man's program? You can say that. Exactly. That'd be funny. Exactly. Something yeah, like that. Kind of good. Yeah. Something along those you lines. Like, well, have, senior citizens discount. Should have yeah. been like, do they have a bald face pedophile fucking <laughs> program? That would have been funny. There you go. I got <laughs> now you. he's cutting up. <laughs> now you. that's how you attack a motherfucker. <laughs> I don't. Not you said attacking. People, I got you. Guys. I got you. Can I'm, you just yes, in a roast session? In a roast you. session, oh, there's no no holds no holds no holds barred. That's how this call him a Nazi. Call him everything. You know, getting head. That was a weird realization for me was when I first shaved my head and I had like 80,000 people commenting. You fucking, did look like uh, a Nazi. Yeah, I had like a Edward Norton and American History X memes. Somebody, up so, up somebody up. go make a compilation of all the times Adam was angry on camera <laughs> while he was bald headed. Yep. Let's do it. I angry. think I actually got tagged in one of those. That's a challenge. I'm angry. Yeah, an angry. I try not to get angry, angry on here. I get a little, a little hyped up sometimes. Yeah, I try not to go like full know. like Hulk mode. Yuri, give me the mouse. Yuri, stop if deleting interviews. If you ever yell at your kid like you yell at Yuri oh then, on camera, mm. they I don't be bad really. For you. I, honestly, I don't think. If, I would like to hear a recording of the meanest I've ever been to Yuri. I don't feel like it would be uh, that bad. Someone literally made an Instagram TV show yeah, thing about uh, it and tagged okay. me. I think I might have some fur in my mouth kind of awkward timing wise right now when I'm talking about Yuri but okay I would like to see that I can agree probably why is that. there fur in your mouth I don't know there's no like, animals you know, in you here you just get like a hair in your mouth I feel you, like still, I, you still have one little hair by your eye that yeah, I can tell I that you shaved yeah. really it's been there like since we yeah, said when I shaved my face it. today I went mm -hmm. out and I had like these long like hairs like by my lip that I didn't get and mm -hmm. I like almost was about to walk out the door and I fucking had to freak out and run back in and shave it anyway sometimes like as I'm getting older and I find little gray hairs in my beard I just like you don't dye your beard Dude, I'm fucking 25. What I mean, I'm just saying the gray hair, it could creep in early. It, it has already. It has. And yeah. you dye it or you pluck no, it out? No, I just like pluck it out. Oh, you do? Oh, oh. Okay. With your um, fingers? I like find the oh. one and it's like deep down in there, kind of spread it out, spread it like a oh. vagina. Listen. Grab one and All I'm saying, out. better men than you have got gone grayer faster. Dyed their beard is all oh. I'm saying. I have been in the studio with very famous older rappers and seen beard dyeing equipment really? in the studio. Mm. You and should dye I, your I mean, beard you know, like a color. It's nothing really to be embarrassed blonde. about. It's, somebody it, wants to, though. It's nothing to be that embarrassed about, but then when you see a photo of somebody without their beard dyed and then a photo you of them with the beard dyed, you and you're like, You see those pictures oh. of DJ Khaled I posted on my story? That was crazy. And, and Puffy, his beard looks crazy. What I don't understand about that is like, okay, you're Puffy. You've had a barber for probably 20 probably years. He lives at your house. Yeah. You're around him the whole time that you're finding out about the coronavirus. And then all of a sudden, the coronavirus hits. You're not supposed to be around anyone. But this guy's been around you the whole time leading up to this. You, you can't, that, like, why can't he come over to your house? You can't go in the garage. Like, me personally, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I got my hair cut a couple weeks ago. I would, too. I just accepted it. I like, did, too. I'm going to let I, this fucking kid who cuts my hair come in my house, and I'm going to let him come in here. I'm just going to. in the garage real It's quick. not like Puffy's going to the barber shop. Did you, uh, there's no reason he has to look like that. Did you do the thing that Josh's wife did and, like, just strip him naked in the garage? <laughs> if and Lena asked me to do naked. that, I think I would have to tell her to fuck off. I don't <laughs> think I'm going to be getting naked and wiped down with wipes in the garage before I enter the house. No, I'm talking about the fucking, uh, your hair cutter. Your barber. You made the barber strip down and get naked when he that walked That would be her and supervising you, it, her with a, with a Lysol wipe <laughs> wiping his penis down. Like, she said, all right, hold on before you walk all the way in. Would it be fair for me to just have a hazmat suit waiting at the gate? He puts the suit on and mm. then comes into my house, Dude, cuts I've my been, hair. And I've been looking for hazmat suits. That's what I want to wear when I'm here. Aren't they expensive? Really? Though? Yes. Wow. How I'm much so are they? ignorant. I still haven't even worn looking. a mask. I wore a mask on the story, but that was or you know, on, on You Instagram, know that it's like, um, it's illegal now. A lot of stores, like you can't even go in or they restaurants won't, they won't serve you they unless serve you. you i went to popeyes you know my with my my fellow brothers and sisters did and you go there with a bunch of people i mean there no, no. i meant like there's, <laughs> I mean, you I know, meant there you was black people in there yeah. oh you went in how else am i supposed to get it the drive through there was no drive through at this one I thought that like most restaurants were like closed to, to go in. No, you. I mean, you can like you, stay you, six feet away. You can, like, you can walk in. in and order, but you can't sit down, right? No, you yeah, can't sit the, down. Like, tables you can't. You're not even really in. supposed to wait inside either. You're supposed to wait in your car. Hmm. Because you know, you got to make sure that chicken is fresh. Or a lot of them have like the fucking lines to like be six feet apart. Love it, that chicken from Popeyes. It's so weird because lately I've been mm -hmm. eating a lot of unhealthy shit just because Feels whatever. Terrible. It's just like, what else am I gonna do? But then. What I really want is Popeyes, and I still haven't I really got it. Want and there's one right near my house. I still haven't had that fucking chicken sandwich. Do they still you have still that? never had it? No. Like not even once. No. I'll, honestly, I might go to Popeyes on the way home, but the problem is, is that I guarantee Lena's probably cooking something. And she's gonna be like, "Oh, don't get Popeyes." Well, how about you just like 
Maybe I should get her, but I don't know. She probably don't want to either. She made bread pudding last night. I ate fucking way what too much of it. What is bread that? pudding? You don't know? Because there's a lot of Korean uh, spots in... When I lived in K-Town, there was... Uh, shit, what's that like coffee shop that has all the good desserts and oh, stuff that's everywhere in Koreatown? Um, I know what you're Cafe talking Bene? about. Cafe it It's like one of those. One. Tom's? I for, it might be that one, one you just said. Yeah. But they have bread pudding as one of the desserts, so I thought that it might be like a normal Korean thing. But either way, it's like... No, I've never heard of it. Pudding type thing, but they you like take... Uh, like bread chunks crumbs. of bread and you like cook it in the fucking microwave or whatever and then you have it in there and it's just it's like you're eating it's, like ba- it's really baked pudding. on top it's not really uh, cooked it's in really the microwave but yeah Lena has gotten so into cooking and in particular have you ever looked at the Bon Appetit YouTube channel no. nope it's like so tasty. popular oh see I've, I've seen like that tasty. a little bit too yeah it's insanely popular the Bon Appetit channel They're like all the, the chefs that they have in are like legitimately like famous this from gr- doing this. Hungry. This girl I know does this uh, curry show on uh, on like First We Feast. Curry? Yeah, it's like she like goes to different curry places and like shit like that. Oh, that's cool. Shout out to her. Shout and out she to Horsepower. Or she, or she cooks it? She's uh, She like goes and talks with the chefs and shit mm-hmm. like that. I thought you were going to say it was exactly like hot ones, except you have to sit there and eat, eat like hot curry. progressively hotter curry. That's <laughs> honestly a great idea, and you should steal that idea, Horsepower. You should do that with everything like... And just increase the spice level. You could do the a version of ramen. hot ones, like yeah, the yeah, spiciest ramen. bag of lifesavers. Life what the fuck are you talking about? The just more, make like, them the spicy. More, you can put spicy cinnamon. crap on anything. Yo, have you ever had, dude? They have, uh, they have uh, hot and cold fucking sour patch kids. Hot and, like, and cold. Hot, what is that? It's like you eat like one of them is like like a cool minty kind that of flavor, I hate and that. then the other one is like. A spi- like you bite into it and it's like sour at first and then it gets spicy. First they're sour, then they're spicy. Yeah, literally. That sounds disgusting. It was weird as fuck, but I kinda liked it. Can I admit something? What? I have to piss. I'm gonna be right back. You guys should talk about something. So Dame Dash was completely right. Adam is a fuck. <laughs> Adam is a fuck. <laughs> he's a racist. He's a fucking racist. Anyway, I'm gonna spark his uh joint up while he's gone. Do you care? No, you should smoke it first so that and then don't pass it to him until you're ready to let go of it. Oh, so I you know, don't have to get it back. Yeah, you're right. Damn, you don't see? have to get his germs back. Dude, honestly. Anyways, can I tell you about getting tested today? Yeah, what's up? No, How I don't go? have any symptoms. No, I don't think I have it. But I do just want to have peace of mind to know that I'm okay. And Did your friend go get hers? Cause, so you guys go. Who's my friend? Weren't you guys all going to Vegas on Thursday? No, we're not doing that. Okay. No. Can you tell them about your idea first? No, no, we're quarantining. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's That was bad. a good idea. I would have went Okay, so you. basically, me and Blasi went to go get tested today in East L.A. And um, Ooh, I, fir- I first didn't want to do it because I was scared that... I've been seeing these pictures of, like, these big-ass Q-tips and, like, diagrams of, like, it yeah. going into your nose and touching the back of your throat. And, like, that you know, the scary. conspiracy theorists want to say, like, oh, they're putting a chip in there, which I don't believe, but I just didn't want to feel the pain of, like a big ass stick in my nose. Yeah, I didn't want to fucking <laughs> I really didn't want to do that. So I thought, you know, if Blasi does it, then I would if he has it then okay, you know, I probably have it too. <laughs> or if he doesn't, then I probably don't have it. Um but I go there where, you know, there's literally no one in line. We're the only people there. And um they give us these like Q tip swab thingies and all you have to do is like vigorously swab <laughs> the sides of your mouth and then the roof of your mouth. Mm-hmm. Drop it in spliff. Dr- <laughs> the first thing he did when you walked out. What are you describing? Uh, getting tested for coronavirus, oh, okay. which I recommend everyone to do. And then you drop it into this like liquid filled container, drop it into the, the little uh, bin where they have all your kits and you're done. And I know in three days if I have it or not, which I don't think I do. But you don't think so? If I do, I guess I won't see you guys next week. Wow. That would be so weird if we found out that you had it. I mean, to be honest, I don't think I have it. I've been quarantining. I've been doing a really good job. My entire time knowing you though, we've very rarely came in any sort of close, close physical contact, proximity. Yeah. We probably count on one hand the num- number of times we ever like hugged or anything. I don't so. like hugging <laughs> like, you. Maybe, maybe like this. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, known her for, I've known her even way longer than you've known her and she still does the same thing to me. I'm so. down to do a little side hug. Then you don't have to like, mm. be because you know why as a woman you know a guy's creepy when they give you a really full frontal mm. hug and they grab your waist here and Ugh. they pull you in and i'm like i don't want to feel your fucking dick or anything mm, so i to, to prevent that i go to the side and I go, do you get hugs you, you think often that, like, where you feel like this is a sort of say, this like, is this is a replacement for sex like they want to fuck you they want to just kind of get a little tiny piece of that sex experience from so. the hug yes That's so yes weird. They, i think they want to feel the boobs and shit right. not that i have yeah, much no but like, no I, I it's really it, yeah. disgusting they like pull you in and like, like i genuinely uh, feel molested and like that's ew. why i do the the side That's, hug not thinking i'm not i no, don't no, feel no. that from you guys but no, no. I, one person in particular 
I can think of right now. When I was that. like 13 or 14, I remember being so horny that when I would hug a girl, this is before I had ever done anything <laughs> with a girl, I, I would like hug a girl and He's I remember like admitting to doing the exact thing. Really? Thing. Yeah. Like, like I really you like appreciated that hug. And I don't think I like took it as far as like, I wasn't like pressing my boner into someone through the hug, <laughs> but I like, if as a grown man, I appreciated getting a hug as much as I enjoyed it when I was like 12 and like just sort of starting to get a hard dick. I remember it would the, be creepy. the day leaving sixth grade, entering seventh grade in uh, junior high school, and everyone was hugging because no one hugged in elementary school. And then everyone mm. was just like, they so everybody graders, was horny and that everyone was, them was hugging. just hugging. And it, I think it, they're just hor- yeah, is horny. Is it as like fun. that for everybody? Where for me, when I went from sixth grade to seventh grade, like so from my elementary school to the basically like, you know, you, it's like you're in a club where you're just around all little kids. And then all of a sudden you go to junior high and yes, like your class is only a year ahead. Yeah. But all of a sudden, because yep. I also, I was probably at one of the nicer elementary schools. And so all of a sudden you're in the elementary, the elementary schools with the bad kids are like feeding into the high schools. Mm. So you just are around way different people. For me, like the difference between sixth grade, it was like I was a little kid and then I'm in seventh grade and you're it was just adult. like game on. <laughs> like yeah, facts, all the girls seem like they have boobs now. All the fucking dudes seem like they're tall as fuck and scary and shit. It was like yeah. I went from, yep. because you know, you're around everybody that first through sixth grade or whatever the, the grades are. Mm-hmm. And then once you fucking, fifth. you level up, it's like you're in like a new club where everybody's just big and old and intimidating. I mean, that shit still like, very strong impression mm-hmm. in my mind. Now it's yeah. it's crazy because like yeah. one of my one of my closest homegirls like growing up, she got like boobs and like had a fat ass and we were in like elementary school, bro. Like so, but like she used she hated that shit because she would get like over sexualized as like a little kid. Like we would be Ugh, that's we, so creepy. we would be walking home from school. Like I know I probably don't come off as the most respectful. I guess sometimes, but I think that a lot of the a, a lot of the like the way i navigate myself with women came from being close to this girl and seeing like her like being fucking weirded out by like older dudes just being like oh hey like you know like dude what, we were in like third grade like you know walking yeah, home she's like disgusting yeah. what I, I remember is that the, there was a girl that i went to school with in elementary it taught me school. that girls didn't like that basically she, she had like the cat calls we don't like any of that there shit. was this girl who had boobs before every other girl in my elementary school and she was also boobs. like the hit boobs she was like the most made fun of hated exactly. bullied girl exactly unrelated to the boobs and then she gets <laughs> boobs and it was like she got made fun of so bad. I don't think I was ever really. They got, even, she got made fun of because she has boobs. Yeah, because she, people already hated her. Just she was like kind of like white yeah. trash and like ugly and girl, weird looking and shit. And then she got huge get, boobs. My homegirl used to get like I would picked think that on. They would like her more because she has boobs. Nah, yeah, but they already like, hated her. Nah, but it's like when you're Sucks. young, it's like like they're just like I don't know like want to make ev- like yeah. make fun of anything that's different about. And you. I feel like yeah. I feel like the teachers and shit were also treated her like she was like you know dressing more provocatively than the other kids but she really wasn't she was just i I honestly think about this a lot now that my girlfriend is pregnant and it's open to the public and we could talk about it is that how do i raise a kid that is not a total petty piece of shit dickhead like almost all of the kids that i knew when i was like 12 or 13 like everybody's just so like the bullying you just hear about this bullying and just being so mean to each other it's like what do you have to do to make your kid not be that kind of kid in a certain way, yeah. I feel like it's almost impossible to fully avoid that because kids need to figure out the pecking order, basically. Like, they need to figure out, like, who's in charge, who's pecking the cool order. person, who's not. And they do that by fucking basically bullying and tormenting each other to sort of establish, like, dominance. Yeah. Wait, you know? but, wait, but can, can we yeah. agree that it's usually, like, a group of kids picking on, like, one kid? It's not, like, two groups of kids, like, picking on each other, But you know? groups are powerful, you know? It's, like, the, the cool kids become, like, a group because they're able yeah. to, like, sort of... I was never a group nigga, though, so I used to be by myself, like, fuck all y'all niggas. I feel like you have to just... Uh, <laughs> but it takes a lot of confidence to be that kind of person, to be, like, like I don't give a fuck about fitting into a certain clique in school. Mm. Yeah, a lot of people don't get that until, like, college mm. or, like, out of high school. But I think you just mm. have to expose your kids to, like, lots of different people... Just jump your kid into a gang as soon as they are able to walk. I was thinking about tweeting that. I was going to say, uh, hey, like, everybody keeps worrying that my kid's going to get bullied when he goes to school. He's as if be- I ain't sending him to school with the heater. I was going to tweet that, and I'm like, that might so. come back to get me. Yeah, don't so I think I'll just say it on the podcast or anybody. What if your kid... <laughs> what if your kid... Never mind. <laughs>
if my kid was a school shooter yeah. and I just had to live with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so not funny, but imagine. Just, but uh, imagine if you didn't fuck up. You were a good parent, and your kid still became a school mm-hmm. shooter, and then you just got to deal with it. That's dude, just. I tell my mom all the time, like, bro, nobody's dude, ever gonna forget about that. I'm That's like, your whole life from there. I'm like, yo, mom, like. Don't feel like you failed me just because I turned out crazy. Like you did a great job. I'm like I was just destined your, to be crazy. Your parents can only do so much, honestly. I was destined to just be a wild ass nigga, and there's nothing that you could have did, <coughs> did that would have been better. Like you know. I mean, that should be obvious to my parents because they got two kids, and you got my sister who's probably mm. never fucking exactly. jaywalked. Exactly. She's never done it. Never broke a law in her life. Never did anything crazy. Exactly. I think she got a flower tattooed on her foot, Aww. and then oh. she got me. And then you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I mean. It's crazy actually not seeing my parents. Now they're out here and I haven't seen them for probably like a How long have they month. been living out here? Uh, maybe a year for and a half. While, for yeah. a while, I didn't know yeah. that. I thought they were still on the East Coast. No, I haven't seen them for like a fucking. I feel like we probably talked about this like 10 times to be honest. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> my, my parents want them to, me to come visit them, but I'm like. <sighs> my parents are deathly scared of getting sick because they're like. my. They both have like older, asthma right? or like lung yeah. issues and shit. So to them, Ooh. terrifying. They're just like super. Yeah. Me and Lena actually were coming up with a plan that we're going to make them food and then go. Go like drop it at their doorstep <laughs> and like wave and say hi to them from a distance and stuff. Aww. Yeah, you can talk to them from, a, that's, from your car. That's depressing as fuck, right? Like I want to give my mom a hug. I wish I could get tested so that I could just be like, mom, like I'm coming over. I'm gonna yeah, fucking. I tested. I told you. Wait, it's how free. much was it? Free. Free. Mm. It's a government program. There's that many tests available. How long does it take you? Uh, it took me. I was literally in and out of there in like ten minutes. There's no one else there. No one's taking advantage of this. Really? Me and Blasi watch uh, the mayor's live stream giving fucking updates about the coronavirus in the city oh, wow. every day. That would be cool. Just, I mean, but I don't know if my mom's even gonna trust that though because she's still gonna be like, like my dad literally hit me up after the Blue Lux Clan interview and said, <laughs> "Why are you around?" Yeah, people? he's like, saw that picture of you standing too close to those guys. <laughs> Just want to make sure that you're being Six safe. Six feet. Too close. I'm like, Dad. I, I didn't You're even like, respond because Blue Books claim. I know he means well, but at the same time, it's just like, am I really just not gonna stand next to those dudes to take a photo? Because realistically, I didn't <laughs> hug him. I was gonna say, yeah, what if he, he wanted you to be like everyone six my, what if, my what whole if there was life? Rona, what if if there I was... met those fools, I would have fucking gave him a big old pound and a little hug would where you? we touched shoulder to shoulder. Uh, no, he, that's he, out. I, but I gave him a pound, fist to fist. I, I stood like a foot away from them to take a photo. My dad saying, was worried. Not to Isn't do that, that anymore either. The fists. Listen, I'm not at a certain point. Yeah, no, because somebody will walk into the room and I notice myself sort of giving them a little salute. Like, we both put our fists up. I know, man. It's kind of weird because it's like a distance pound. Like, you want to pound your knuckles together, but it's from a distance. And then you kind of feel like you're throwing a black power salute. And it's like, well, maybe I no. And you definitely don't want to. Definitely don't want to extend the hand. I could have a very weird vibe. You got to tuck the finger or no? (laughs) Could I recommend a show? Yes. Uh, Unorthodox on Netflix. It's about the Orthodox Jewish community. It's only Aww. four episodes. Holy shit. That's good. You I'm will hot. learn a lot about how those motherfuckers are living, and the story is fucking nuts. It's really, really Is it good. recent? Yeah, it just came out. I see them trying to push, shove that one down my throat. I lived, like, right near yeah, so there. many of those Orthodox Jews in Brooklyn, and I never really spent much time thinking, like, what are they actually up to? We, were, we were fucking sharing a joint. Kim told me oh, that I should smoke it crazy. and then pass it to you. I saw Donnie come through the other day. For everybody who knows, Donnie is who's... God damn it. Donnie! Wow, your He's girlfriend's here? here. That's crazy. Saw her from a distance. That's so weird the way you said that. Her cheekbones were oh. so shiny. I have, I have the headphones into. He's like, ah, here he's good. Ah. He's, he's like, whisper. This makes he's me feel like he's probably watching. Yeah. Like, you guys are like whispering. In my he's ear. literally he's watching. So watching right now. Right now. He's, he's about to come in. He's watching. Talking about her cheekbones. Don't, don't ever talk about her. <laughs> yeah, you gotta relax, for real. You go. <gasps> no, I just like saw a girl. And I was trying to figure out who it was, and then I'm like, it's Yuri's girlfriend. I wish I had a beard to extend. I think that's her anyway. It might be some other girl that looks like her. Who else would it be? I don't know. Some other senorita. No, that's the only girl he knows. Yeah, especially if they're here for him. Who else would it, who else would it Imagine be? Imagine you're just cheating on his girl and we had to keep relax. the secret. We, you, you're, you would be exposing it right now. He's right? not because otherwise I, I wouldn't be saying this. I know. Obviously, he's not. No, but I I had a homie back in the day when we were living in like the BMX house. And like he he like he was the biggest. It would be mm. like if Yuri had a girlfriend and was cheating on his girlfriend. But he was like cheating on his girlfriend like in front of us, like bringing a random girl to his room. And we're, there's like 15 BMX dudes sitting in the fucking kitchen well, or who, in the living why room. Why would y'all tell him? We, we're not gonna tell on him, but we made fun of him so fucking bad. And the bitch gave him a fucking hickey, mm. and he walks in later, and he just mad ca- casual and cool. He just grabs a spoon out of the fridge and just puts it on his hickey. He's just sitting there watching BMX videos on the couch. 
trying to get it like to we're go like away. you're not gonna just do this and we're not gonna make fucking fun of you we're not gonna not laugh at you for fucking walking in here and putting a frozen spoon on your neck like you you can't frozen spoon. you can't does just act get, like this is I, all good i don't think that gets rid of it it was yeah, so right, funny right, no it actually does i think it like breaks up the the blood i, I googled it after that because i was like is I'm that too dark skin to get hickey, so I don't know what the fuck y'all niggas talking about. That's another example it's of fire. black excellence right exactly. there. It's fire. You guys got all kinds of advantages. Tell me more. Are you there others? Blush. Do you blush? Know. A little bit. I get a little red in this area. Do you feel weird wearing a mask because you think that people are going to think you're a robber? Because I've yes. seen some black people saying that on social I media. I put a bandana on. Like, I couldn't find a my mask. A bandana seems like a particularly risky thing. Well, no, no. I had, no it, was, it, was like a, it was like a money print bandana. It wasn't like a... No, you know? I was at Ralph's. The, other, the guy was wearing like an all yeah. blue outfit with the blue <laughs> yeah, that's tied just, around. I was like, oh. Probably not the best thing to be doing, honestly. Just the, the, all the, blue. The, the rag in general. It's like, <laughs> because... In your pre-coronavirus life, you if you saw someone that. wearing no, a rag laugh, covering yeah. their face, it's almost a 100% chance that something's going down. Because why the fuck yeah, else exactly. would you do that? Dude, it's but now going out in public and seeing 30 Everyone. people like that, yeah. it's like, you it's crazy. You don't even know. Especially so when I wear the glasses combo with this, I'm like, you can't even identify me yeah. ever. Dude, my Uber driver had a fucking, he was like an older Hispanic man with a blue bandana covering his whole face. Even just having the face tattoos and the fucking hand tattoos and stuff, I exactly. feel like the handkerchief around my face would just be a bad look. Like I'll give you a pink one. If you're a, a woman, I think you can get away with it. Even then, it's still a little like, oh. You still don't know, man. She might have the stick on her. <laughs> she might. You I'm me? sending my kid to school with a stick. That's, that's all I'm a terrible thing to say. No, yeah, that's horrible. I'm okay, okay, I'm not actually going to. <laughs> say, to say don't that. don't, don't take this say, out of context. Your kid isn't even, say just kidding. Ha ha. Your kid isn't even born yet, so it's like. <laughs> well, it well it's matter. just weird. Like, if you have a kid, you pretty much like. I've never taken a. There's one thing I've never taken a photo with a gun besides one selfie one time. Mm, me either. You've definitely taken a picture with a gun no. on the No Jumper tour. No. Yes. I don't think so. At the venue, and then the venue was At, threatening to shut down. Are you down I think we I put the gun this. on my story, but I don't think I took a picture with the gun. Maybe you, maybe you weren't holding it directly. Maybe mm. the the that changes the, the whole no, scenario. The non named shooter of the thing. Okay. But you know what it is? Okay. It's like uh, you know a, a cat when it like it, it puts its it tries to drink the boiling water and it finds out really fast that you can't drink the boiling water. Why are cats trying to drink boiling water. That, that was because they just see it and they think they're gonna fucking or not like it's like not hot, steaming. But, you know, like that always happens where the cat will get really, really scared of the water that because they get burnt one time. Mm. It's kind of like me. I had to learn if you're going to put on a tour, you're not allowed to show the guns that you brought on tour. In the all- venue, <laughs> in the green room before yeah. the show, which is all ages. Can you believe that I had and to learn our that? our headliners were underage. That I had to, that I had to like learn that trial by fire but somehow didn't really get in trouble for it which is yeah. pretty nice you know what's crazy I mean, we talk you know about what's this crazy? every time i feel like it's crazy thinking back on it because like when we were on tour the last time venues were tripping on uh hook not being 21 and being in the backstage and it's like bro she <laughs> is performing 16. that's what i'm saying i'm like bro like what? I mean, it depends <laughs> they on care the, a lot the, more now. It depends on the venue too, especially if they have like fucking alcohol in the back. And exactly. Like, you know? Which like, <laughs> if you're having an adult show, like, or like if you're, you know, any any adults are on the fucking headliner on the headline, then uh, your writer you're probably gonna have alcohol on. They're it, you know? trying to push this narrative that the CDC is saying um, there's no shows until, until 2021. Until fall 2021. I tried to look it up, and it was only like random local like radio stations reporting on it so i don't think it's confirmed but that right. would, that would be insane if it was like no festivals or concerts until fucking next year right because do we think that that is like cuz that is over a year that's over really crazy year. to imagine but i mean all the biggest this, festivals are already passed already it's, it's insane like, because know? i got i have i got booked for a festival this year and i'm like oh well it's probably not happening <laughs> yeah there's so <laughs> many people that like are it's going to be in august do you think i'll be okay no huh probably right not. i don't know that uh i would like to say but like we don't know dude Wait, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to find this uh this vlad tv article so that i can show you guys uh one topic that i think is very important for us to discuss on here I got a P2. I just this don't feel like last one is making me feel uncomfortable. You can pee anytime. You want to hear this? This is uh, Bad Baby comparing being white growing up in the hood around black people to being like Tarzan because Tarzan, you know, grew up in the jungle. That's allegedly mm. what she, I haven't actually listened to it yet, but that's what is being said that she said. Mm. Bye, Are you going to play it for and us? Make, and then another thing I like to say is y'all, y'all say that I try to be black because I grew, or maybe a reason of me trying to be black because I grew up in the hood. 
Tarzan, right? He, he, the story of Tarzan. I thought she was going to keep going. <laughs> I thought she was going to keep going, too. Yeah, I don't think we really got into Wait, the, the heart the, of what she actually what said there. What about the story well, of Tarzan? Well, I mean, Tarzan, which uh, admittedly I've never seen, but, I, you know, it's basically... It's kind of making you want to revisit Tarzan. <laughs> well, they made, like, a new version of it, like, a couple years ago, right? Admittedly, I've never seen it. Yeah. I mean, I probably saw it when I was a little kid, yeah, maybe. Yeah, for sure, right? for sure. Like, I had the, I've definitely I had seen the VHS. it. Tarzan's, yeah, like, the sure. kind of thing that they're going to make a new version of for, like, every, every generation year. of yeah. kids, don't you think? You know what's you know fucked up? When I realized that they were going to do that with Spider-Man, I got really sad because I was like, damn, this Spider-Man was the best one to me when I was a kid. Mm. And I was to like, with Tobey Maguire? Yes, that was the best one to me I at never the time. Watched, I never watched At the time, once. I'm like, this is the best one. And then yeah. it's like, they did like five other ones after. And I'm like, no, wait, why? Wait. They did the Lion King remake. I never watched like, that. Like, bro, let it go. Th like, this is what she actually said. Why says. can't you just show the kids the old one? This is the actual quote that people are heating up about. At the end of the day, we're all people. We all bleed red. And then another thing I like to say is, y'all say that I'm we trying to be black. Red. Maybe a reason for me trying to be black is because I grew up in the hood. Tarzan, the story of Tarzan, he grew up around the bears in the jungle. He didn't know no better. <laughs> the bears. Are there bears in the jungle? Yeah, it was I don't know, movie, but too. it just doesn't. Uh, the bear was Tarzan was kicking with the bears? Yeah, the bear was talking to nigga. It was like, I haven't seen it, so I don't know. I'm telling you that but the bear I, was talking did, to bro. She, he did have a bear friend. He had a did bear he? friend, oh, and there was okay. also like a little. But she's comparing. Never mind. Are there a lot of gorillas in Tarzan? I don't actually I think know. There's more gorillas. Just, that's the comparison that's going to piss people off about this. In it's particular. just mad animals in general. So she's just saying that. Growing up in the hood is like growing up with a bunch so, of animals. so she did so she, did, she saying did. you're the only human being yeah exactly <laughs> surrounded like, by what? a bunch of animals is exactly exactly. the thing that people are offended by here she did exactly. admit that she's trying to be black there right? yeah she basically she, just admitted she just said that. it in those words I believe it's so crazy to think about the fact that this it made sense in her head and that she's so incapable of thinking about how people might perceive the things that she says that she didn't have like the, the state of mind to think because th there's no way she just thought of that analogy on the spot. She definitely like thought of this before or had someone say this to her before. And like, it, you're like Tarzan. It's just weird to think that she could not have that filter that as soon as that pops into your head, you might think, oh, people are going to think that's racist. Maybe yeah, I shouldn't right. say that on Instagram live. After our conversation last week, I, I kept seeing the pictures of her. Yeah, again. Yeah, not the one that we showed, but like the one where she's like, is she naked or something? When like, uh, I don't know, she I looked bear-ish and like. The That's pictures so I sad. saw of her that where they were mad and saying that she was trying to look black. I mean, she looked crazy in those photos. Like it looked n a nothing like what I've ever like seen her look like in real life. Yeah. And then I was just looking at her on that Instagram live right there. And she again, like I mean, just it has nothing in common with the way that she looked in those photos. She looks like Tiana Trump kind of in those photos. Dude, look, I, I watched this other YouTuber uh, named D'Angelo, D'Angelo something, like, on his, uh, on YouTube, and he was, like, showing other examples of, like, oh, women, crazy. like, black fishing. It was this girl that was straight up a blonde white girl with blue eyes that looked exactly like Nicki Minaj. Right. Like, ex bro, she looked exactly like Nicki Minaj. It was it's crazy. a combination of Shout out D'Angelo. surgery, the yeah. fact that girls do you know that magic dude, with makeup, and then the fact that girls do lip, magic lip, with the filters lip, after. Lip injections. You combine too. all of those, nah, and you can these, basically end filter. up looking like whatever the it's fuck you want. Filter, though. These bitches be getting like get their surgery. skin pigmented. Like, they you hear, get like, your skin pigmented? In real life? Too? Yes, bro. They're like, How the fuck do you? You get melanin injected? Dude, I don't fucking know, but I'm seen. I thought it was like crazy fake towns. Nah, oh, I mean, that too. Like, it's like you know. It's but the, like, okay, this is the thing: is that if you went and got burnt on a on a spray tan thing, you wouldn't look like how these girls mm -hmm. are looking. Like these girls are actually looking like mixed light skin. But have like, you seen them without filters and without makeup yes, and bro. shit? Okay, yes, that's what I'm saying. I can show you. This. But see, that's kind of the, the thing: is like, why is, is it so different to make your skin darker? Because we permit or everybody like, to do all these insane things to their bodies now that yeah. 20 years ago everybody would have like, thought were crazy. But that's also like. um it's like this white dude who got like his eyes pulled back to look more Korean and like, mm. I mean, not to look like more Japanese and shit. Like he was like trying to like become like oh, an yeah, anime. That shit's weird. Per like that's just straight up like you were fucking being are, a weirdo. Are weird you life. offended by a fucking white guy who gets surgery to make his eyes look like I yours? I don't know <laughs> if that there's surgery it wasn't, for that. I know that they, bro, they you bro. know how you guys have the folds right here like this? Yeah. He got yeah, mad he just, shit done. He just on, filters it to like make it He got mad shit done on his face to make, to appear more Asian. 
that at the end of the day, it don't do matter what. Do I feel what, offended by that? Yeah, I guess. It's kind of offensive. Like a white male. Yeah, don't do that. Like, that's weird. It's Is weird. that not weird? I think of mm-hmm. it as just goofy as fuck, but I also don't really think that he's doing anything wrong. Like, I definitely, if I met this guy, I would probably. This dude was on Dr. Phil, too, apparently, and, like, Dr. Phil was just, like, he was he was trying to look like one of the BTS dudes. What, oh, uh, my God. Uh, uh, J- Jimmy? J- uh, Jimin. Jimin, something like that. I love he that was you trying know to look this. like He was, because I, I, I watched this dude's YouTube video the other day. So, look, so he was trying to, like, look like that dude. And Dr. Phil was basically explaining to him how, like, just the whole concept of you trying to be, like, a, a manufactured, like, branded person. Like, this is not this person in real life. Like, you are trying to obtain something that's, like, not even really him. It's, like, a altered image, basically. Like, right. You know, it's like you're, you're trying to be this person. But don't we accept that? From people in our society that people like we we embrace people being whatever the fuck they want to be in terms of people having crazy ass surgeries, deciding that they they, we allow people to decide things as serious as their own gender. I think being whatever you want to be and doing with like like doing stuff that makes you feel happy, whatever, go ahead by all means. But me trying to be Adam 22 and fucking getting the same tattoos as you and getting like facial surgery to look like you and get and like dye my eyes blue and fucking <laughs> bleach my skin until I love I'm white. this idea. And you feel me? You like wouldn't look just like me if you did all those things. But is it wrong? Is it just fucking lame or is it no, wrong? Like, I think it's both. Mm. You know, a big it's part, a big, a big part of people being mad about black fishing is because you're not, in, uh, you don't feel yeah. all the struggles of growing like up as a black that, person. You could take that tan away and like you know take your lip injections out and just be, and take your weave out and you or go whatever back to being and your, be, your yeah. white normal life. But then that's what's so funny is like like young boys girl when I saw the mugshot of Yaya, and I was just like, look at her like she had her fucking like her thing pulled out like her fucking lips looked all fucking crumpled up i don't know if she's gotten injections or not but it's just like if you compare the way she looks at her mugshot to the way she looks on her instagram it's just like insane and it just takes one moment of like real shit for people to be able to see past whatever fucking image you're putting out there one moment where you fucking stab somebody repeatedly apparently um i just wouldn't want to live in a state where i had to like keep up some crazy ass image like that, dude. Mm. That's just what me. do you mean? St- like you, like you wouldn't want to have to be the person to. Do you imagine being one of these girls that has to constantly pretend Why that she's way like hotter that? than she actually is on her Instagram? There's a lot of girls out there who their what they look like in real life has absolutely nothing to do with what they look like on their Instagram, and they can't put out a version of themselves unless they have a filter on, unless they got fucking. I think you can't relate because you're not a woman. You don't. You know, one thing that really stuck with me that we talked about before was like you comparing Yuri to um, what's the guy's name, Mike, and you're like, you know, I've never had to look at two guys and be like, who's hotter? But you know, with girls, I'm doing that all the time. It's like, really, you know, you're you can't relate because you're not a woman. To I don't wanting think to put out I'm like not, a fake image, but I mean, what they, I'm saying clearly, is guys do clearly, it too. They clearly have, you know. It's not an exclusively girl thing. I think it's like more of a girl thing to sort of constantly be sort of making your, yourself look like better than you really look in real life. But there's a lot of dudes who do this shit too. Insecurities embedded yeah. in that. Sorry that you're perfect. I don't think I'm perfect. And I think I'm. I, no I think I'm doing a more um, a more accurate job of looking like a, what I actually look like physically in, on my social media i could imagine it could I, be a I disease guess. like body mis- dysmorphia yeah, is a disease right. too you know it's but are we just gonna give all women that that all women these days get to have that see you keep bringing up the woman thing asshole <laughs> and some dudes i've seen dudes who you see them in real life and it's like holy shit you have bad skin and you realize that some dudes <laughs> fucking that's fact. That's weird. That's fucking weird. I can't. Yeah. I'm trying to think of any guy I know that's face tuning their skin. It's YouTuber it's probably a dudes. Lot of dudes yeah. It's not like uh, rapper dudes. Like like e boy type people. You know, e boys. They're the ones. Mm. They the YouTubers are the ones who are like. They might like be able to put off like a version of themselves that seems like really cool on camera, but then you see them in real life and you're like, oh yeah, shit, a you're a fucking dweeb. Yeah. That's Dude. kind of all YouTubers. Usually rappers. <laughs> kind of a lot of them. yeah. All usually YouTubers. the rapper is the cool guy yeah, yeah they're like the epitome you know, of cool some, like the cool guy in school too. is the guy who's going to be a dope rapper not mm-hmm. always now because you got like like Lil Tecca was probably not the most popular kid in nah, school you know what's crazy too a lot of niggas that were the cool niggas when I was in school where the, what the fuck are they doing yeah now? they're fucking losers now yeah is that how it goes yeah but I don't 100% know, I cannot name you like five people from my high school that like yeah they, like like 
they might be like having like cool regular lives, but like I'm like, no. is like a cool rapper? Mm. I don't know, like like the popping person. <laughs> Ruchi's the only other person from my area that like got popping. But was he cool? and then he moved to Inglewood. In high but. school, I'm gonna assume Ruchi was like a, a gangbanger and not like the Mr. Popular yeah, football player facts, guy. Yeah, but like that's a weird. That's standard. what I'm trying to think about. Like the football player like, dudes, like football player dudes that like I know all like, have like kids and like. If you're a football player, you're cursed because there's like 300 dudes who get to do that. So it's like unless you really are the fucking best in the country yeah, or yeah, world, then you're yeah. basically fucked. I'm sorry, you have CT. <laughs> like I'm sorry And even if you make it To that level Yeah realistically You probably got A couple of years in you There's very few Like professional Athlete stories yeah. That end With a really happy Ending you know Is Tom mm. Brady Like the longest Lasting football player I have Sorry no I know Nothing no. about that. I don't think so Why am I asking you to I wouldn't I even be able To pick Tom Brady Out of a fucking lineup You kind of look know, like him Right now honestly I just know He like kisses his kids On the mouth what? Are, Is you that gonna, are you gonna do that Like until they're like 15 I mean, no, it's weird because, you know, that's the kind of thing that when they're a baby, when they're a baby, you Why kiss them on the lips, right? Obviously, yeah. Hmm. But then it's like, all of a sudden, they're, really. they're four or five. Is it weird then? Yeah. Is it? I, I don't think so. I, I feel think like my still, parents kissed me on the lips until I was like, like 10. Like, I can't I, I imagine think, you kissing your parents I, I on the lips. I think my parents kissed me on the lips to the point where I had to basically just like make them stop because I felt weird about it because I was mm. starting to go through puberty and it just started to feel kind of gay. Hmm. I mean, I feel like you kiss your kid on the forehead. <laughs> I felt gay. Kiss, kiss your kid mom. on the forehead. Kiss him on the cheek. I'm not. You're making out with your parents <laughs> until you're ten. That's kind no, of. No, the, the Tom Brady ones are like the videos are. It makes me feel weird because they're kissing, but they're like holding it for a while. If not, I'm that's gonna, hella weird. That's, do that's you really think it was creepy weird. when yeah, Wayne what? kissed Birdman? Come on, that's not even his actual kid. <laughs> Did you like that though? That's so funny that that's Did you real. Like that you like that? <laughs> you ever jerk so off happy. to that? <laughs> hey, can I admit something? No. That you're going to kiss bro. your kid until they're 20. Guess who's OnlyFans I copped? Oh, oh God. God. Alex. You, you look way too excited right now. I got a video coming out about it. About her OnlyFans. So, this I bitch, if she wants to get a good review on her OnlyFans, she better post some shit by tomorrow because I'm going to hold my review in. Until I make this video, make a guess. I paid fifty bucks. Realistically, a, she, if this video a month, I, no, that's how much our OnlyFans is fifty dollars a month. Yes, is that a Yo, lot or a little bit? Running. I don't even so know. So much. Lena's so is much. like five. Well, girl, girls should be like eleven dollars. The girls shit. who have, and, and then you pay a premium for the premium scenes, right? So like you, you get it, and then you, you have get to pay the normal, and then, and then you pay more you can charge like some extra that you want. for like the real premium content, right? I mean, you don't fifty dollars yeah. per month is like basically unheard of, as far as I know. It's like she's going you crazy. The most popular girls on OnlyFans uh -huh. have figured out. Like Lena used to charge thirty, and then she figured out that if she did a lower more. price point, that it would be like way, way, way more, more money yeah. by charging less. And then adding the premium stuff on top. Yeah. Um, I guess I don't want to ruin your video, but is it that she's not posting shit? She does not have enough content. We can say that for sure. Because um, I guess she was doing I've a, been there a before. private. <laughs> she was doing a private snap before when that was a thing. Did and I, I was getting a bunch of emails from people being like, "You need to expose Alex for this. Like she scammed me." And I guess like she had people pay for her pri private snap and she it wasn't was really posting nothing. anything on there or something like that. I know I girls that have that, said yeah. that before. Yeah, there's definitely girls doing that who like are like halfway in on the private yeah. snap thing. But now the they have like one picture The on private there. snap thing, for, uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, but it basically doesn't exist anymore. It, it's all OnlyFans now. Like Lena still has a private snap, but yeah. it's become like a tiny percent of her income and compared to the OnlyFans. Right. I haven't heard about private snap in nah, a really long time. No, but you still be going up on the Snapchat. But OnlyFans like really sort of took the place of the private like, snap. I know really Taking, they're taking like what 10 look i know oh, like why don't you guys know. think of that you too because i'm not trying quite to a him. business they got here him. yeah i don't think i want to run that business i don't want to have to micromanage a bitch and be like yo i don't know are you talking about actually creating I'm not they're the platform a, i'm not talking about being a fucking you meant like creating the platform yeah, creating the platform and now I'm glad I didn't think now girls are making enough off OnlyFans that it's like a real jug that you as a dude can be like an OnlyFans manager type dude. Oh, yeah. Fucking Selena Powell's boyfriend person. Right. Well, I don't think he doing Allegedly. shit. Allegedly. She, Allegedly. She's doing her own thing. Nah, I don't think home, he's pulling the strings. The homegirl for show uh, showed me a DM from bro and was like, he was like, hey, like from that guy. Uh huh. I was like, hey, me and Selena. Duh, duh. 
Are you Whoa. serious? What, I'll like trying to hook right, up? I'll pull it up right now. Oh, hell no. Oh, That's what her boyfriend said? Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, hell for sure, no. For sure. What, they want to do a scene with her? Or I they... guess, yeah. Like, they're trying to, like, they're trying, he was trying to, like, Have you, you paid know? for that one yet? I was thinking that maybe after I do Alex, I'll do Selena. You're just going to be an OnlyFans reviewer. Because there's a lot of funny people who have OnlyFans now that, like, you would never yeah. have thought would have an OnlyFans, like, six months ago. And it's only going to get worse. Like, like there's definitely girls out there with private snap or have uh, OnlyFans that... You could yeah. do a funny ass review of. Hey, do you do OnlyFans? Let's team up. Selena and I run in the page and look for dope, fun girls to be a part of it. Dope and fun. Dope, fun girls I to be a part. I don't want to be dope. Boys. It's crazy. Fun girls. Imagine me trying to explain to dope myself like girls. 20 years ago that this means do you want to have sex with me and my <laughs> girlfriend? That's your business sales pitch. We are running this page and looking for dope, fun girls to be a part of it. That means that I want to so have crazy. sex with you. Isn't that crazy that I know dope, that? Dope, fun girls. Imagine going to India and trying to explain to someone's <laughs> grandmother that that message means let's have a threesome. And also I haven't explained what a threesome is. Maybe some people don't even know about that. I get, and I only say that because I heard my grandmother ask what anal sex was at about 80 years old. What? Where did? How, what? how did that come up in conversation? <clears throat> this is what happened. I, th- I believe I probably told the story before. But like, did she? Okay, go ahead. It was Thanksgiving, and my whole extended family or whatever was together, and uh, we we're in Laconia. And I remember uh, it was there? around the time that the thing with Bill Clinton uh, fucking his um, his uh, intern, yeah, uh, like Secretary. Monica Lewinsky putting a cigar in her vagina allegedly and That's getting fire. head for her or whatever, that that whole thing. And I walk into this room and I hear my grandmother say the words, I've been watching the news. What is all this anal oral sex I keep hearing? What, what is that? <laughs> and I just like heard adorable. her say that and I was just like, Oh, oh my like God. it literally like it hurt. Like I just felt myself becoming traumatized mm. and then I walked out and it was n- not really traumatized so much. And it was kind of the opposite of being traumatized where it's like, I realized that oh, my, you're attracted to it. No, you that my grandmother, that? Retirement homes my, freaky. my grandmother was able to live in a world where she never knew about anal or oral sex. And that like somehow her brain wasn't able to put yeah, the words oral too. and anal <laughs> no. Like, how, how do you, you, you know what anal means? Or oral. You've heard about somebody getting an anal suppository, or you've heard or about like, someone getting anal surgery, or having anal cancer. There's all kinds of anal things that are non sexual. Or anal, she, you wipe your ass every day. You're anal. Or she's had aura gel toothpaste. <laughs> oral is in her mouth. This is like you as a rapper trying to put words together. Oral. You're like trying to come up with like a connection here. You said well, you said the anal thing, so I was giving Bro. the examples of the oral. What do you mean? You, you want a bar? It's a bar. I a gave Xanax? I gave yeah. eight. No, I don't have those. Oh. I gave AD this bar. Okay. I got bitches wearing red. No David Hasselhoff. <laughs> no. That On Baywatch, it. something about that, like bitches wearing red. Mm. Bit, no. I can say I got. It's bi- funny. I got bitches on the beach, like David Hasselhoff or something. No, you can say something about bitches wearing red. I said it to him because he's in a crib. Red bikini. It'd be kind of funny. What he did like, he antagonize. think about that? He laughs. It seemed like more like he was laughing at Not the you. idea of it more than like, oh yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. <laughs> Watch his next fucking song. Him tripping. He on could make it work. It called David Hasselhoff. He couldn't make it work after people knowing that I wrote it though. That would ruin it. Him, him, like turning up on on Gata in the store, and then and then like apologizing oh, to that. the mom. I love that. <laughs> that was the most fire I scene. Finally, I finally watched it. It was amazing. Bro, is it not the best? It was the best show. Dave, there's a new I episode see- coming out tomorrow, oh, but I can't wait. the last episode? episode was pretty shocking was because it had almost red? no Lil Dicky in it. Which one? Was it was it? all oh, it about was the Taco, other homie, Taco, and and the girl. Yeah, well, that's I like, what it was I about. I like their relationship and the wood. I Remember didn't the wood shirt? They put a lot. Yeah, the wood shirt was fucking they were hilarious. At one of fucking Melrose they, they, Post. They, they dedicated a ton of time with that episode to fleshing out the other characters. And if you really think they about did the, a good job. the episode about Gata about being Gata, bipolar, yeah. that had a lot of Dicky in it too. But that was like an episode that was pretty much exclusively making about, you care about Gata and exactly. understanding that he's bipolar. Yeah. And it's just it's make they're doing a really good job of making me like fall in love with all the different characters. Or at least yeah, I'm definitely giving a fuck about it. And I mean, the number of people that you're seeing. Show the show the show love is mm-hmm. pretty really impressive. Good show. I saw a lot of people saying that they checked it out just because they heard us talking about it. I see why yeah. you relate to the show. What do you mean? 
You're a rapper. You're, I mean, all that, but like, you know, I know that you could go between like, do I, I want to be taken seriously, but then, mm. you know, I don't want to do bro. Oh, you see, you see why I relate to the show. I don't want to do bro top freestyles anymore. Exactly. Yeah, like, what like, does it do to your lifestyle oh, when yeah. you say, she think I'm famous, so she's sucking, sucking on my, my anus? anus. Well, like, that's a good line. Like, it is, but like, what does that do to your life where then you, for the rest of your life, girls are going to think that you really want to get your booty hole sucked? And I, I, I don't really, I don't have, I don't, I don't think I've ever asked a girl to do that ever. I've only had it done to me one time, and I didn't even ask. You she had your butthole licked? One time. You shave your butthole, or is it no, taco meat? No, no, no. I mean, I don't have that much hair. But like, taco mm. meat, ew. Chill? I just, I feel like a sh- an unshaven ass is not the kind of ass that needs to be eaten. I mean. Eating hairy ass? That's I just, just got out the shower, you feel me? She was, she was down. I didn't ask. Did you, like, lift your butt up? A little bit. Mm. You know? <laughs> she you was bent already, over? <laughs> nah, nah, I didn't bend over. <laughs> I was just laying there getting slopped, you feel me? And I just like lifted up a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what it's all about. It's like- but it's funny because I said that in the song way before that had ever happened in my life. This didn't happen in my life until last year. Mm. I feel like for eating me. ass as a meme was always a lot more popular than actually eating ass. Although there's never like, a lot like of people eating, eating ass. Like me talking about eating some girl's ass is funnier than me talking about getting my ass ate. You feel me? I think so. Talking about getting your ass ate is weird. funny only in the sense that we think it's funny because we are always making a bunch of stupid gay jokes mm-hmm. and like joking around about a bunch of like gross out shit yeah. which a lot like, of people don't like, like that kind of bitch, humor i feel like you'd be letting bitches finger you an asshole though. no i'm never like, done, never like you're you're into the finger up the booty i feel like you never let, did it. i feel like you never let did it. a lot of guys do it never you let did it. fuck you with the with the condama no it's, t- it's shaped terribly for that. And maybe if you if you took you put, the serrato off, ga- what if she gaped her asshole? This and just put the ball would in actually there. work great. I could this throw, is like an anal I could throw some lube on this and put this in her butt. No problem. As soon no. as I no, took this off, your butt. otherwise there's your no butt. good angle. Or would you, you can let, put the ball. Would you let Lena pipe you with a dildo for her OnlyFans? No, absolutely not. Why? Or a strap on. Well, I don't want to do that because it f- seems like it would feel horrible. And then also. Even if I did want to do that, I really wouldn't want people to see me doing that. So, no. You're admitting to wanting to do it? I do but you not. You just don't want people no. to see it? Not at all. No no think, part of me has any fascination about my own butthole as a sexual device. What's the weird thing you think Tre- Trev does at home? Trev? Mm-hmm. Oh, geez. I don't want to know. Yeah. I don't, don't want to know. know. Yeah, that Trev, would be fun. Trev has freaky eyes. Trev. The people don't yeah. even really know about Trev. Trev, Trev we, works us. He's, Trev he's running the switcher right now. Should we keep him a secret or should we? No, it's fine. We could talk about Trev. It would be funny if it was like Jamie on the we Joe Rogan stop, show where we could show these, him for a second. We gotta stop giving these niggas exposure because they keep get, like getting girlfriends and then like oh, becoming know, too cool. Right? That is what happened with Yuri. Yeah. Yuri no, we, and then they're gonna make fucking... What you are, you what? give them a droplet of clout droplet and all of a sudden they got a hot girlfriend from a meet and greet. No, and then they're gonna make petitions to be on the show. And then they and make, make and petitions. And then they started petitions. That was probably then, him starting it. And then oh. and then put in their bio. He link, definitely link made it. Bio. He definitely made it for sure. That's, and then Yuri's out here making hundreds of dollars on stream, drawing fucking <laughs> glasses on his face, smoking blunts to the face, eating. Oh, I had an edible last night. Mm-hmm. It wasn't that strong, but I was like, I was really sitting there this morning thinking like. I gotta stop smoking so much weed. I feel retarded right now. I'm yeah. like, it's like 1 p.m. and I don't feel like I'm like recovered from the weed I smoked last night. And then I'm like, mm-hmm. Damn, how much you, are you smoking? I know. And then I'm like, you ate an edible. I'm like, oh, oh, right. Wow. That's why I feel so stupid right yeah, now. Smacked, bro. No edible hangover. Yeah. I don't like that's edibles. how I do when I, way too strong. That's how I feel when I do any drugs now. I'm like, the next day I'm just like, oh fuck, you I know feel what I, terrible. You know what I did last night? I had a fucking dude. Basically, I have this Bend program that lets dudes. To show whoa, you their dicks. Whoa, let's pause. someone, not dude specifically, uh, let someone else bro, take over my computer and they can use the computer, my computer yeah. from Why their would computer. You do that? So that they can, like, basically, it's like screen share. because yeah. I, there's poker software that basically, mm. like, tracks your play. And I'm so stupid and it's so hard to figure it out. And I. But you're going to give the nigga the full access to your computer? What if he could just do whatever now? Yeah, but that's kind of the thing in poker is that it's like everybody sort of has to trust each other. And if that you're a terrible idea. If you're untrustworthy, then people are gonna figure it out really quick. Like there's a lot of people who've basically been exposed for cheating over the years and it just ruins their public credibility. Wait, I thought it's like a team share where you can like turn it on and off. You're just letting him have full reign no, of your yeah, computer. He oh. has control of it for that 
time period and you uh, can see that yeah, they it's have it's not that big of a deal a lot of people do it even it's like just, Ma- Mac it's, it's Apple such a crazy it. experience yeah, like you're just like whoa like, this hate, dude's controlling my shit for I me. hate when <laughs> you're trying to move the mouse they're trying to move the mouse and you're like in a war that's of like trying to move weird. the fucking have you not seen trying YouTube to type videos? something at the same time and it. it's like oh I hate have it. you not seen like YouTube videos of like niggas like doing scammers like that and deleting all their files and like deleting everything oh I have seen some of those videos lately of like just basically people like counter harassing scammers or just like uh, like like a company, a company like they'll they'll do the software with you, at, like and th- they'll be like doing it to fix it, and then you fucking put some program on their shit, you control their shit, and you just like fuck up the oh whole company, God, and delete like everything. Way too meta this, for me. this dude I was watching, he basically somebody emailed him or whatever, trying to scam him, and then he somehow reversed it exactly. so that he was able to find the address of the building and view a camera inside the guy's office. Of him scamming people, Jesus so th- and, and he had access to the phone line of this fucking guy trying to scam wow. people. And I don't understand. I, I really didn't pay enough attention to understand how he fire. was able to do this. But he's basically like counter scamming people. I guess somebody's gonna have to don't name scam the scammer. dude in the chat. But honestly, I mean, it's pretty amazing. It sounds like a do. vigilante to me. It sounds pretty tight. Straight vigilante status. Is he a scammer or is he a hacker? He's hacker. like a hacker. hacker, scammer. hacker he basically scammer. like hacks the scammers because the scammers aren't Jesus thinking Christ. about people trying to hack them. Yeah. So they're sort of loosey goosey with the security protocols. Pow. Loosey Got goosey. your stupid ass. Can I just say that last week I believe we did 120 thousand. Now that's no guarantee that we'll do that many this week, but that seems pretty good because we were doing like. 35 like six months ago on this show you know what it is i think it's us being consistent yeah Yeah. oh my god joe budden podcast isn't even doing anymore that's crazy to me what is that what it was joe what does mall have like joe budden thinks malls got corona mall being a club though not now the club's been closed i don't think it's that it's that new york is fucking scary Yeah, new york is fucked up new york is the epicenter right now and they live like probably not close yeah well i mean joe lives in like jersey and shit so he's probably just not even able to get into the city consistently on a day-to-day basis like Sounds that crazy. which is pretty crazy yeah. Yeah, what if those kids my friend who was living in new york who just left to san francisco she was telling me she was starting to see like kind of the army and like it was starting to get very locked down yeah because like out here you know we're also fucking spread we're apart. just driving we're around cars. and shit yeah it's because it's like you can drive somewhere it's no big deal in new yeah. york if you're trying to gr- drive over that tunnel it's like i can't even imagine someone that i mean no i heard uh if you have to go to work in the hospital or whatever, you have private cars. But, like, people who work at, I don't know, fucking restaurants or something, taking the subway right now. Yeah, that sounds like, bro. Insane. Oh, That's God. scary. Who are you texting? <laughs> Nobody. My bad. I'm hella faded, yo. Are you really? Mm-hmm. Off the I spliff? I haven't smoked in, like... Weed. You don't smoke weed every day? I've been smoking like two days now. I'm trying to I'm trying to like relax out and be sober for like, you know, the rest rest of the quarantine. My favorite Hard thing long is when I be. realize that people can't smoke the same amount of weed that I smoke. Oh, no. I, I can... heard you smoke a lot. Well, when we hung out with Black Dave, we got him too high. And I was like, man, I didn't even know that that was going to be a thing. too high around you guys. Did he really? <laughs> and he was like, dude, they smoke so much. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> we smoke too much to the point where we don't even notice. That's so funny to you me. Go, you guys smoke a lot. You and, Jace, even, you and Jason. But, dude, like, realistically. How's Jason and the baby? Oh, my God. How is good. Jason? He got corona. Shut is the that fuck why up, he's quarantined? He, I'm like, shut the fuck up. He's been up. with the baby. He's got, like, asthma type shit in the first place, so he ain't really been coming in, but he's still still up. Oh, my God. Oh, my stinky. God. How's Laura? Ugh. Laura Have also, seen uh, haven't seen her. I, I assume that she's recovering from the COVID. She has to watch this in due time. Stamps so like whatever we say about her right now, she's <laughs> I gonna Laura, see. I love you. I love so her. yeah, that's we that's miss a thing. you. There's no more disinfecting wipes. Uh. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, Laura was the only one that was keeping this place uh, disinfected. You know, I it, brought the Lysol spray today. It's really crazy because not being able to barely do any interviews has really made us just double down and focus on the Snapchat show. So that's been going pretty well definitely search no jumper on snapchat and subscribe to our show we're going to be starting to come with the youtube version of the show whenever we come out with that so that's pretty exciting that we're going to be uh delivering the youtube version of the Yo, snapchat show as well you know what else is really exciting what me and cam girl streaming after this Listening to your music, taking donations, so tune the For fuck in. For a second, I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? That is exciting. <laughs> hey, I, I mean, I don't know how much we're really going to be able to say that about this, but 
Vitaly. I want to talk about this that. This story oh, came out. Is so insane. Let me just lay the groundwork for this. For those who don't know, Vitaly has a website called Vitaly Uncensored. And it's basically him running around doing pranks and all kinds of just silly little content with a bunch of naked girls with their boobs out. That sounds amazing. He should uh, be censored. I haven't actually looked at the actual content. You even though, is it a monthly subscription? To yes, I think it's like 20 bucks a month. Fans. Let's go. Yeah, he makes all this Pay crazy it, content. Send it to me. So whatever, like as a result, and I, I've been told that he has like another site that he's working on coming out and stuff. Basically, like Vitaly, if you look at his Instagram, it's just him and a bunch of fucking Instagram models constantly, porn stars, whatever. He's just always doing content with these girls. The story came out on TMZ basically saying that a woman was running in Miami, jogging or something along those lines, and Vitaly jumped out of the bushes and allegedly attacked her and beat her in the woods. Or no, I, it, along I, some path or something. I believe yeah. it might have been Miami. Yeah, it was in Miami. Um, no, no real clue what might have motivated this. I mean, it sounds pretty steroids. flabbergasting. Like, why would, would you beat anyone up a do random that? person that you don't even fucking know? Yeah. And you would hide in the bush. Like what? It just doesn't she had like sound. A, she had like a, a gash above her eyebrow or some shit. Wait, so it was for a video, or we don't know? Don't we don't know. know. I mean, she that she that said that she didn't know him and did not yeah, um, even know who he him. was. Right. Yeah. And it's weird because I reached out to a person from his team who I am actually friends with. He told me that he couldn't make a statement about it right now. I looked at, I actually messaged Vitaly on Instagram. He didn't respond to me. Keemstar, I believe, reached out to Vitaly and didn't respond either. And I went on Vitaly's fucking Instagram this morning and looked at his story. He's promoting the site and he's just like hanging out like with girls, with his film or whatever. He's just like making regular ass Instagram story posts as if it's all good. Uh, He does have like thousands of comments calling him a woman beater on uh, the most recent post. But I mean, and and then I went to look again and I saw that he actually deleted the post of him being out there in the yard with the girls. Um, Everybody's really just trying to figure out what, like what is his version of this in which he didn't just jump out of the, the, the bushes and, and beat up a random woman. Right. I feel like that's almost like stopping the flow of like anger about this is because everybody's so flabbergasted and just can't really even make comprehend sense. what the fuck. Yeah, why, why would that ever even be an option? Uh, some people were saying that he might have been like on mushrooms recently, like for a video or something like that. And there's oh, no what? telling if that might have been part but still of this. why would you hop out of the bush and- i'm trying to think maybe like pcp for me mushrooms is not the kind of drug that Probably would make you jump yeah. out of the bushes Just and attack a random attack woman, a woman. That's, it sounds like that's PCP. jogging on right a that sounds kind of like maybe like a pcp, PCP slash like thing. meth type thing yeah. i don't know if that really? vitaly has ever doesn't he have videos like him like roided out Right. He, he looked so psycho at that biking, uh, the boxing match. Yeah, he he definitely told me that he's been on steroids for three years straight. Um, a lot of people are on steroids who don't jump out of the bushes and attack random women. So we don't know Let's that how that his, his connection. Rugby's. I'm just saying that it's not like we could say like, oh, like he's on steroids. That's why he would do this. I don't think I feel like no. it's a combination of it could that be a combination, and PCP. Yeah. And That's why we got to get a response from Vitaly. I don't understand what he's not issuing a statement for because how do you how do you issue a statement on I jumped out of the bushes and beat up a random give woman? Give us a counter narrative. That's all I'm saying is that I, I just want to hear what the version of this could be that doesn't make him look like a nut. I don't think that there is one. That's why he's not reporting there has to be there has to be because i know vitaly well enough and i can't imagine him sitting here and explaining to me why he jumped out of the fucking bushes and it just doesn't like how, how does that make sense i don't know him personally but from the report i read it he sounds yeah. like a fucking nutcase yeah but not like that he seemed like a nutcase in that fucking video of of at the fight like he didn't he like he like punched that that buff dude or something at the um at yeah. the jake paul fight or whatever they got into it no, Something no. Like Bradley that. punched him. He needed to punch him, though. You know, <laughs> Bradley. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Mike from Impulsive yet. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we talk about bit, him. Yeah. But sometimes. he, he. I think him and Logan might be breaking up because Bradley, <laughs> Bradley Martin, the the buff guy that you're talking the about, beard, yeah. he put out a podcast with Mike where Mike apparently I saw a video on Twitter where Mike cries. Whoa. And uh, comes clean about the whole Logan thing. I have a little bit of insider knowledge about what they've been uh, beefing over or whatever. But Logan has been doing his podcast, Impulsive, without, without Mike. And What's I, the Logan thing? What's the fight? The fight? Beef, the, the beef. The beef between them? Uh, I would say 
it's kind of weird because like from Mike's describing it They're to dating. me, my, and I still have to watch the podcast with Bradley, but Mike is basically telling me that like he's kind of there to be the no guy to like say no to things and like try to like help shape the vision of what they're doing and make it better and stuff. And I think like he, according to him, Logan doesn't necessarily have that many people that are willing to say no to him in his life since he's like the super rich, successful one. Um, and as a result, it's kind of like, uh, Mike has sort of Mike developing a fan base of his own and Mike getting a million subscribers while also sort of being a person that's kind of there to be critical of what Logan's doing. I could understand how Logan might be sort of over that at some Mm. point and how that could be an issue of contention. I I believe that that's part of what they're dealing with. But I, I, again, I have to watch that Bradley Martin thing. Mm. Is that how you feel? I can't believe you cried. (laughs) Wait, you cried? I didn't cry. (laughs) I've never cried watching a podcast. (laughs) You? Anyone? No. Have you ever what? cried watching a No Jumper episode? That's what I'd like to know. Wait, you're yeah. saying he, he People cried probably while cry watching, watching it? No I Jumper. thought he cried in it. I'm not sure what he cried talking about. No, no. I'm talking about he cried on the podcast. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He yeah. was on the podcast that we were sitting right here, and he just started crying. Has anyone cried in one of your interviews? I'm trying to think. I think, yeah. What really? What would we have to be talking about that was so deep? It has like, happened, but I'm, I'm struggling to remember For me, what... it had to be like a death of like, I don't know, yeah, a loved one or something. Like that, yeah. I don't even think I'd there be was here some really... I wouldn't even be here exactly, yeah. Fuck, dude, there were some weird cries, like some 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 awkward cries and some like cries that I think Maud's son cried up a little bit talking about his drug addiction. I, I fuck with might be wrong. I was gonna say, gonna who did you make cry? Who? What woman? Yeah, right. No, I don't. What if I started crying on this thing because you were mean to me? I don't know if a woman. You would. You wouldn't come back cry. if you did that. That might be where a line is crossed. I make camera? you cry on the podcast. Yeah. I can see it happening. <laughs> what, what would I have to she do? I don't. So I, I don't think you're somebody that would be like Lena could definitely like start crying on a podcast like and just not be able to help it. I feel like you would be able to control it and be able Depends. to like at least walk away from the situation before you like made it clear that you were upset. I'd probably throw a McDonald's cup at your head. That would be. She really Scalding. almost fucked me up one time because I. Uh, you deserved it. I did. I did deserve it. Oh yeah, I went crazy. I think I was like on steroids or something. Work. It was honestly. It was honestly. I just felt kind like of, I felt like if this is what roid rage feels like, <laughs> that I feel it. Nah, I really deserved it though. I'm sorry. What did you do so though? Angry. I poured water on her while she was asleep because like that's like a thing I do to people. Oh that's my god! So hilarious. I hate motherfuckers who do that shit. It's you so and everybody on O Block who thinks that's the funniest <laughs> shit in the world. <laughs> it's not funny. It's that not shit drives funny. me crazy. Not I'm not gonna lie. Because your sleep is so precious and like. Every time I would that. watch a video of Juice World doing it back in the day or Key for whoever, I would always be sitting there watching it, just slow key getting mad, thinking about how pissed off I'd be look, if somebody did that to me. It's like you okay, this situation I did it to her in, I didn't need to do it to her, and that's why it was I'm so uncalled someone, for. I'm not like a I know, a but I'm saying like it's usually like if we're if, if you did it to TS, so I'd be like, ha ha ha. No, but look, it, it, it wasn't even just that, it was also the timing of it. It's like if you're supposed to do it when like everybody's up and partying and chilling, and like that one that person falls asleep. Yeah, right. I know. That was like, it was like we were all asleep and I woke up before her. The situation was like I feel like we went to day in Vegas and then we went yeah. we all went to sleep he woke up before me and it's like we had a long ass day at a yeah. festival this fool wakes me up pouring water on my head like a lot no it was like he actually put it in a he put it in a cap thing but it was oh, okay, it, it was enough to wake me up the cap is annoying but I've seen like okay, but he also yeah, Chief Keith with a fucking kettle yeah, that's not okay. That is not, not right. That's I'll, not okay. That no, would but never, he though. also put it directly in, in, ear, in my ear, ear. <laughs> in my ear, where I had to like. She's gonna get swimmer's ear. You ever get swimmer's ear as a kid? I hate swimmer's ear. No. Oh, what is that? You just get water in I'm your kinda, ear. I'm kind of mad. I'm, I want to fucking pour this water over you right now. I'm I remember getting, getting swimmer's ear a bunch of times as a kid. Why, back why has that never happened to me? I got swimming all the time, and I never got swimmer's ear as an adult. Swimmer's ear? I did as a kid, but not as an adult. When you're, when you're, you know what it is? I think it's like you can't like turn your head too much. To the side, and like it just you know who's the worst with wetting people is Jay Prince Jr. No offense, Jay Prince Jr. I'm just gonna call you out. If you watch his Instagram, anyone who falls asleep in the studio is boom, I they're getting t- wetted. And I'm sorry, Pause. it seems kind of off brand to me with him because That's actually he's all about respect. If you if you ever talk to him, he's a very honorable guy. He's very what? respectful. You sleeping in our workplace, oh, my exactly. brother. Exactly. No, but it just seems kind of yeah. weird for him to be the guy who's nah, wetting nah, people. Nah, nah. You in our workplace, we're not here to sleep. 
Is this your J Prince Jr. or are you going back to the Malcolm X? Nah, thing? This is my J Prince Jr. <laughs> this is me trying to be J Prince Jr. I guess. I, I, one day I'm gonna go back Shout and rewatch the, Young Chop versus J Prince Jr. because that, that was the that most that was the most it, awkward. Thing. I really didn't understand what was going mind on. Mind blowing content because J Prince Jr. was just not he knowing not. how to take this dude at all, and like he's just being so disrespectful. It was so weird. But then he also was like, he's not stupid. He wasn't like crossing the line like, oh fuck you, you bitch. Like he was like. He was like trolling him, but he was trolling him in a weird way to where it was like kind of confusing. But do you think if Meek was on FaceTime with Young Chop, that Young Chop would be calling him a bitch to his face, like the way no. that Young Chop is basically calling him a bitch? I feel like I don't know. Oh, maybe no. that's just crazy. Maybe he might just wild out. And just, like, anyway, Jay Prince Jr., you gotta stop wetting people, bro. That shit. We nah, gotta leave that, that in the past. Nah, they gotta respect the studio, respect the workplace. I've been the dude falling asleep in the studio a mad times. Want to know why? Because I get up at like eight, nine in the morning. So if I'm still in the studio at midnight or one in the morning, I'm tired as a motherfucker. And if I'm sitting there listening to a beat for On a half loop, hour, yeah. the same fucking one, it's gonna put you to sleep. Yep. I'm gonna be over. It. That's at least one thing I can say about myself is I never got wetted by a rapper by falling asleep, wetted. but I did get wetted by Trippy Red when he threw water on you me. You got wetted by him too. I f what was it? Remember. It was the end of one of these things. He, you wetted me? He wetted you. For oh, what, though? Fuck. He me, it was one of, no, it was just weird ending the podcast, and you're like, nah, and you walked away. I think it was the year, like, wrap-up year one. You know what's a weird How do you guys moment in time to remember all. is I was reading this old issue of Double XL that I found, and I was reading, the, they had, like, answers of, like, Mano answering questions, and, it, it, and one of the answers, it said, my time working with Lil' Kim was, and it was a blank, and he wrote, wet. And I'm just like, then it's such maybe a weird, she, maybe she him. weird time period where wet just meant cool in New York. You could just say oh, really? wet. Yeah, we used to say that shit too all the time. Like, yo, that shit wet. I just yeah. seen this movie. This shit was wet. You heard That's that new Joel Santana tape? This shit was wet. We would say that all the time. Yeah, but you you, know know, you also say, uh, fuck, what is it? Wicked wet. I've been saying wicked That's since I came out the motherfucking that shit is womb, wicked baby. Wet. Me and my homies used to say wet as like a, like a like dank. Yeah, or not, not, cool. like, not like it was bad. Like we, we had it flipped. Mm. That shit was wet. That's also like you know, like you know, like young leash. We will say booth, yes. but like it's a different the booth. booth pack. Yeah, yeah, like why you have the booth pack? But booth sounds too cool for it to be a strictly derogatory term. It was only a matter yeah, of time. Like, nigga, that shit booth. Like, booth sounds like oh god, I don't even want. To nah, be but then it's that. like I'm smoking booth pack. I'm yeah, but and booth, booth booth is like too versatile a term because booth is putting something in your ass in prison too. So it's like how how are you smoking booth and you got to go You're booth booth drugs to bring into prison? You're boofing. You just got booth booth. The, pack. the limits of the human of the English language will never stop being stretched. It's that's it's why just, you a so scary, scary ass nigga, and this is a scary ass nigga. Mm. Which get wait, which scare, which one is scary? We sound like culture vultures for sure, <laughs> nigga. I am the culture. Fuck you, talking about. We just don't know. We're like we're, we're observing all this weird slang. We're not we're not actual participants anymore. Is that how you feel? I want to ask Yuri a question, but I don't know what to ask him. What's up, Yuri? Yuri, how's it going? Is there a visitor here? Oh. What are you gonna ask him? I don't know. Oh, I had I had I something had a about it. Go ahead. No, I already did. Oh. Your girlfriend here. You uh, said yes. She did say yeah, yeah. We're not bringing her on camera. She's she's not allowed. This is a no clout zone. He just tripped. <laughs> he tripped on nothing. His well, girlfriend just saw him trip. Now she's gonna break up with him because he's clumsy. Oh no. <laughs> what did he trip on? It was nothing even true. There's a rug on the ground. I'm oh. assuming it was that. He got that. nervous because we were asking about her. Yeah. He Sorry. hates it. You know, Lennon texted me and said she's down for Popeyes. Oh wow. That's fine. Poom! I'm going to Popeyes on the way home. Papoom. Papoom. And the good part though is that I know that I will leave the Popeyes and go home as fast as possible so the food will be maximum hot. You can't trust the Uber drivers. They're gonna, they're, they're gonna doodle, take, their fucking time. take forever, stop, play Pokemon Go, et cetera, et cetera. The delivery yeah. foods it oh, sucks, God. dude. Uh -uh. And I feel like when you order it like and they know that it's just an order and somebody's picking it up, they don't even like cook it or pay it any attention. It's just like Psh. And I'm starting to get freaked out after you told me like they use like stock images and stuff. You didn't know that? Well, he mm. he's for the restaurant. Unfortunately, broke the news. Are you me. shitting me? You can't trust those Every time you order, you thought that's what the food is gonna look like. Yes. All those pictures would look way different if they were being taken by different restaurants. Yeah. yeah. They all look a little <laughs> bit too nice. It pisses me off though that there's not like a photo for every item because that's kind of how it is in real life. Is that you have a photo of almost every item. Not in real life. Not really. No, no. but a large depends, percentage. Depends what restaurant. On Postmates, you go to. a very small percentage of those of those items have been photographed, and then some percentage of the time they're just straight up lying about that being the actual item. Did we got a Chick Fil A after this. Remember that one? 
That was written down there. I'm trying to think. Do I want Chick Fil A? Let's talk about this off air. Right, sorry. I ordered lemonade the other day, and they sent me the wrong I order. Hate it. No. You do? I you do not like do. that. Food. It's like cafeteria food. Oh, I thought you meant you. Okay, I no, thought you meant you loves, hated he lemonade. Loves, I don't like lemonade either. The like drink. the drink? I lemonade like is either. a restaurant. No, lemonade, out the restaurant here. is yeah. fire too, though. It's in the airport. Uh, but Whoa. it's really good, actually. Okay, you never ahead. seen it in LAX? No. Yeah, it's, really? No. I've, I've probably been to that lemonade in LAX probably like 15 no, times. I mean, I usually fly United, and I feel like I always go to that one, the WP. Remember when we went there? If you're not experienced in all the terminals yeah, at LAX, then the I terminals. don't really fuck with you. Ah! You're not all city. You got to get all city, King. Okay, okay. Uh, you said it tastes like cafeteria food. I don't like it. I think it's kind of healthy and good. I healthy cafeteria. Right. They changed the menu too much for me, though. They it's got like, a couple good bowls. They got some good sandwiches. But my nigga, if I want, the, I want the same bowl that I had six months it's ago. It's too seasonal for you. Mm. Yeah. No, I'm actually a little pissed because Sweet Green got rid of the Hollywood Bowl. Oh I don't know. Oh my god, I hate when they get rid of their fucking bowls. Really? I fall in love with the salad and I want it forever, and they fucking get rid of it. That's I mean, why you gotta have some solid it. bowls right now. You gotta get like the guacamole greens. Kick it with that no, one. No, there's like this fucking southern Chipotle style one that was so good. The, remember they yeah. had the blackened chicken for a while? That shit Maybe was it was fire. that one. Oh my god. I never so thought too. they were gonna get rid of the Hollywood ball. Now they I, got rid of that. Yes. I thought that was one of the like plat like main dishes that and don't change. There's a big part of me now that wants kale, oh nuts. God. Grapes and raisins with chicken and goat cheese in the same bowl. That's crazy. I can actually like you recite name. all yeah. of the uh, ingredients the was fire, of the Hollywood Bowl right there. That is there anything I'm forgetting? I never. I, I'm amazed that I have that memorized. Some weird dressing. Yeah, that thing. That thing that's incredible. Dressing. I'm not saying it was weird, but I'm saying it was you know. Sitting here ranting and raving about <laughs> how good sweet green is is pretty much as low brow as it gets. Considering that there's like two parts of our audience, there's people who have like, never heard of this place and have no idea what we're talking about, no. and there's people who are like, "What? Oh. Why are you celebrating this generic because ass it's chain?" Good. I no, think, it is. Yeah, I think, you know, I like. I think people like it when we give little recommendations here and there. It pisses me off about Sweet Green that they don't do beef. That's part of their branding really? is that there's no oh, I beef. I never noticed that. And no soda. You go there, you can only get That's juice. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, they only that's have like more branding and stuff. Shit. And one time I went to Street Green and tried to pay with cash. They, they don't take cash you. either. You didn't know that it's cashless as fuck. I don't ever carry cash. You should actually exactly. read about Sweet Green. They're pretty uh, innovative hey, company. My nigga, they had like Sweet Green festivals, and, and like I think Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick festival. Lamar owns like uh, like a piece of at least one of them. Really? Yeah, dude. Like you walk in and they have a huge picture of Kendrick Lamar like performing. On the right, Which, I want to invest in Dave's Hot Santa Chicken. If, can we just invest in restaurants? Because I want to be I'm part of Dave's Hot Chicken. Yeah, let's go. Chick Fil A, that shit's always packed. Chick Fil A. I want, it's I have harder. An idea. It's harder to get approved to be a Chick Fil A franchise owner than it is to get into Harvard. They're a Christian company. What? I don't think they'd fuck with you. It's harder than to I'm get Christian. into Harvard. Yeah. I dude. watched the church live streams. Everyone, it was Happy Easter, by the way. Happy Easter. Happy late Easter. Did you guys celebrate Easter? I should play I a poker tournament all day on Easter. Ass. I fucking bitch ass. I didn't think about the fact that it was Easter until it was like 10 p.m. and I stopped playing poker after like eight hours and I kind of thought to myself like, should I have acknowledged this holiday in some way? Because it felt like we kind of got a free pass on doing anything because yeah. of the coronavirus. What if there's I no mean, Christmas? It's a, it's a religious holiday. I don't think you're religious at all, so I don't think you need to re celebrate it. No, I don't buy it. any of that but bullshit. But I wanted to watch the live stream that your mom watched, but you didn't fucking text me. Like, I think Asshole. I was asleep and I didn't Asshole. even set it up for her. Asshole. Look at you. My mom doesn't know how to like work anything. I finally got my PC so. build, guys. I'm going to be streaming this week. Watch out for me on Twitch. What are you going to be <gasps> playing? Animal Crossing? Animal Crossing. I'm going to get uh, horror games. That's a genre of games. Oh, you're you going to be that? screaming the whole time. You guys love my screaming. <laughs> That's fun. Um, That's going to be cool. Doing that. Uh, I like those games. Those games are fun. I've never played one. I'm it's excited. Really fun. I tried um, playing Final Fantasy really VII on stream. Oh, and, yeah. How was that? Uh, I don't know uh, if I should be a person who's like learning to play a game on stream. Because you're just like this, huh? You gotta I'm learn kind how to of play an it idiot. I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like me playing poker on stream is a lot more entertaining because I'm much closer to being like good at poker than I am at Final Fantasy VII Remake for the first time, the moment that it came out. <laughs> it's cool. But once I really started playing it, I was kind of like, man, like I don't care enough about this to actually sit back here and play this. I think I would rather play poker on stream. And then I played all day on uh, Sunday, and I won a tournament. I got first place, and it was nine grand. So I was very proud of myself. You won nine grand? Wow. Yeah, that's the most I ever won in a poker tournament. So that was kind of nice. what the fuck? Yeah, so fuck how Final much Fantasy. You, how much did you have to put in to win that? I think it was a $50 one. Not bad. No, it might that's have been, been 160 I forget. What do you think about the idea? You went nine grand. Yeah. Sorry, there's a lot of people. Of me driving to Las Vegas, 
just to eat something takeout and then drive back just because I want to get out of my house. What is the takeout? They got to be that good. Something amazing. What are you doing to get out of your house? Because me and Lena, we have a park that we go to to play Pokemon Go. Yeah. That's pretty much it in I terms walk, of us leaving the house. I walked to 7-Eleven. The other, <clears throat> the other night, I finally felt the qualms of being inside in the crib. All, all the time. I, was start, I actually thought I was going to go crazy. I was going to cry. Mm. And we drove to Seal Beach and just That's walked fire. for a yeah. little bit. The walking is a big thing yeah. right now or like just going... You know, it's it's weird because it's like you don't want to just go sit in the park because you sort of mm-hmm. run the risk of somebody else coming and, and sitting like in the park. <laughs> you don't yeah. really want to be yeah. around that. Now you're supposed to be outside. Yeah. When we and then go, they're gonna end up closing that park. We play we play Pokemon Go, and it's it's like a situation where a lot of people will like sort of gather around for a raid or whatever, and normally people would be sort of standing close to each other and talking, yeah. and now everybody's just super spread out far away from mm. each other, which is pretty hilarious just to see like this very specific game in this specific place that we always go becoming much less social. Dude, I remember when Pokemon Go first came out and I used to play and I would go to Santa Monica Pier and how crazy that shit was. It was the same wall-to-wall Asians. Wall-to-wall Asians, everyone wearing their fucking, their team caps. Dudes there uh, selling phone chargers. Oh my very, God. Very impressed when I saw that. That was amazing. Dude, that's uh, so smart. I was so close to buying one too. <laughs> I would have probably bought one too at that moment in my life, yeah. Dude, that's honestly the smartest thing I ever heard. That's like these niggas out here on the corner selling masks. Mm. Before we uh, wrap this up, I, I would like to ask you guys, what do you think about 6 ix uh, attempts at trolling? This is all sort of in the build-up to him making some sort of more public appearance, but basically... You see him in Tory Lane's comments? Yes. Oh, I missed that. He left that stupid comment on Tory Lane's is live. What did he say? He said something about... Uh, he said, let me on a live or I'm going to snitch on yeah, you. The- you're, you're Canadian. You're not even American. Yeah. I don't feel like I, it's kind of funny. I, a lot of this funny, stuff but like kind of funny but like what I'm noticing is I just don't feel like he's getting that much of a reaction doesn't yeah, feel like people are talking him. about it that much for for Tory Lanez to even be associated with 6ix9ine after this point is gonna be very interesting like Tory Lanez was somebody who was genuinely boys with him uh, I oh, believe yeah. he's I probably sort of disavowed 6ix9ine in interviews and stuff I can't say for sure but I'm pretty sure what uh, if he would have added him on to quarantine radio? That, that would have been the craziest been thing. I know. I wonder if you considered. But what that. if he would have did? Like, is there a way that he could do it that is not corny? Like he could be like, listen, Tory Lanez is somebody who he's not exactly fucking you know YG. He's not the most like street rapper or whatever. But he's definitely a guy who mm. cares about being respected in about street say? scenarios see, and stuff. YG. So for me. I don't know. Like, do you think that Tory Lanez's credibility takes a hit yes. if he fucks with Six Nine right now? Not I would he, agree. Yes. Not if I think he fucks if, with them, but like, if I was if on his management team, team I, right, adding him on that, but being openly cool with somebody like Six Nine for Tory Lanez. What if he? What if he? What if he adds him on and shits on him about being a snitch and like whatever? But that he's giving. But he's giving him a, a platform at the end of the day, so he shouldn't do that. I think if 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 Tory Lanez got six nine on live and started actually hitting him with some real shit about snitching, that would probably be mega viral. That 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 would so be if huge. If he does it, then we know now that he got the idea from us. Oh, You're welcome, man. Tory. I don't know though. I, I feel like if I'm Tory Lanez's manager, I'm saying no. Yo, you, don't don't do, do a song with six nine. It's no, not. It's not, it's see, not you, happening. See, you you were taking one thing and. Adding more to but it. But would you say that? I said. Would you tell him not to? I would tell him not to make a song with him, yeah. But I would say go live with him and be like, and yo. Shit on him. The question is, is who's going to make a song with 6 9 Because that's going to be. You take, we talk about two different things. We'll though. sort of take the. But you're like married to like as if we have to keep talking about this and we can't talk about something I mean, else. You can. keep telling me but like, like no, we're not talking about that. Like, no, I'm talking about something it. else. You I think, to like, you think like bad, bad Bunny or like Ozuna will like continue working with him i don't know to what money's from the set yeah that's the whole question is like are they like how does that how is that shit gonna go over in their culture i don't know i was i was watching the bebe song Mm. i was like wow this is a good song who's willing to do it for the clout who's six nine gonna get on a song that's realistically what if he just drops his own song and it's fire no that that's definitely an option but who's gonna be his first feature like who's actually gonna want to get on a song yeah even the producer thing is gonna be fucking questionable he just steals them from youtube well i'll be looking at them a little bit different too i don't know people are saying that metro booming people saying he got over a million followers since he got out okay i get it I'm just saying, if I'm a gambling man at this moment, I'm not betting the house on 6 9 because I'm not hearing a reaction that really? I could really compare to anything close to when he was out. Yep. I feel like a lot of people are he just sort of care. ready to not pay attention to this. Got, mean, got a million followers? Cool. But like, that's, that's inevitable. Whatever yeah. he puts out is going to get millions of views, too. 
that doesn't necessarily tell us that he's going to have a real career going forward over the next couple of years. My bet isn't on him doing a ton of views in the short term. My bet is on him being taken seriously as a rapper over the next couple of years within rap. That's what I, I would yeah. bet against him doing well in that regard. And yeah. I, I would love to be proven wrong, but if I'm a betting man, I'm going to throw my head in that ring. I'm shorting 6 9 basically. Yeah, 100%. I mean, like, think about all the things he used to rap about. Like, well, what is he mm. going to rap about now? It's like you can only take, you could take the snitching joke only yeah. so far. The like, snitching joke is not. Nigga said I'm a snitch. Like, even his, mm. um, even his bio is, like, so lame. Like, what is So it? lame, it yeah. Really like, they, why, why are they saying I'm a snitch? I don't know. Maybe some people think this is funny. I see academics oh, no. hyping this shit up. Yeah. But to me, personally, I don't really see it going over all that well currently. Have they done that yet? Like, make the snitch remix? Like, how they would make, like, the gay I think, remix? I think they've been to oh. that, yeah. The what remix? That? Like, the, 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 the snitch, snitch remix? remix? Oh, the gay. Yeah, I love Nigga Kamo. Snitching? Oh. I still play Kamo. <laughs> I like the Indian Penis remixes. stiffy, uh, come real sticky. I don't know if I can Shit ever forgive 6 ix 9 Treyway, and 10K proje Projects yay, for getting yay. Come Out taken down. Oh, that's that's fucked up. You can't just get Come Out taken down. <laughs> that's a big part of the culture. That's like, that'd be like if they erase the, the original recordings of Get Rich or Die Trying. You could never hear it again. <laughs> but you don't know, do that. Com you don't know, compare it to We it don't did, do that. It did get deleted. They had to get re uploaded. I know. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Mm. Also, while we're on the topic, Fuck, I already forgot what I was going to say. We need that I dude that does the gay remixes to keep it going during the... Uh, they should do a gay remix of this podcast. We need a much dank of this podcast where they just oh, like... They get us all the time. Shit. Would you Would you pay $950 for a Black China phone call? If she got booty naked on there, spread her booty hole open, yes. Would I you pay $950 for the Black China top is yeah, a fair yes, question. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you were looking at me asking. I was like, I'm not going to answer that. I don't want to know. I don't want to picture you what, and her doing that. What a, what, I What's what, the lowest you think she would charge for the I top? Want, Sorry. How long are these FaceTime calls? How high I, are I, you? I, Probably like five minutes. I'm not going to call I've, you. I've seen, I've seen snippets of her mom's uh, love, love show reality show and uh -huh. she's on there literally looking like she wants to fucking kill herself and black she does china. not yeah she does not want to be there she's literally just sitting there black like, china doing all kinds of shit to make money right now that she probably don't want to do and i could see her just doing a facetime call and just sitting there not saying anything how's fun i have an idea for you hmm. you should eat poop on sherby red's live stream that was an interesting segue <laughs> <laughs> you that's know, just the last thing i want to say before we wait, go wait, wait, i think wait, you wait. should you should give it a try you know jake hill house Oh my gosh! He fucking him. stapled his mouth Who's on that? Uh, this guy Our who friend. came on here. He came who's here. Who's a part of the full sin crew now? Yeah, he came. He he was he's been part of it, but he came oh. on our live stream and brought a shock collar, and he had me and House One fucking shock, shock him. Shock him while we like and like raise it up. Yeah, I don't know if down. I liked it that much, but really, yeah, I kind of felt crazy. weird. I didn't want to do him like that. So what does that have to do with the poop sandwich? Anyway, he was on Smoke Perp and Lil Pumps live, stapled his tongue. You gotta uh, tase his lips and, and then stapled his, his stapled a paper onto his cheek. It's like what? Are, like, and, oh, and yeah. shot like a like an air like a Ew. like a fucking arrow gun at his foot. Wait, did this Chad Tepper guy? He did it on live on Trippy Red's live. Yeah, he ate a poop sandwich. How far are we gonna go with these lives? That's we've been in quarantine for like a month. People are eating poop sandwiches. You, like I'm about to drop my quarantine single what's tomorrow. What's next? I want to ask you guys. Are you really? As yeah. a, as you have a, a quarantine single? It's called quarantine or something? Mm -hmm. It's good. I'm going to mm -hmm. sing it tomorrow. It's singing vibes. I want to hear this. As a man, do you, A, do you guys enjoy these, like, you know, demon time fucking Troy Tory I've lanes? never watched that. I've seen a few clips here and there, though. Okay, so so you don't enjoy, do you? I mean, not enough to I'll, watch I'll an watch, IG yeah. live. Not, and, no. and are we ever gonna? Nah, get some are we ever gonna get sick of it? <laughs> I try to spend less time on Instagram. Like I'm kind of in and out. Like I'm not really looking for something I'm to not, do uh, for yeah. ten minutes. Like I'm not gonna sit there and watch an IG live for ten minutes. I've I have not watched one IG live besides I, I, I chimed in on Joe Budden's once or twice because I'll just click on his because sometimes he's I playing saw him music. When he was with Drake. Oh, I didn't see that. I loved it. But I, I, he'll be playing music. Speaking and of Drake, in. have you learned the to Tootsie slide yet? I've Left seen other people doing it. Have you right done it? Lena slide. asked if I wanted to do it with her, and I said no. Why? I've, I just, the only dancing I've seen you do is like. Yeah, I don't think I need to make dancing. A weird face. Yeah, the, the, I know exactly guys. That face. I know guys who are dancing on TikTok on a daily basis with their girlfriends. 
I is, don't think I need to be doing that. I think once, you talking, have the, once you have the baby, you're definitely going to be like a little yeah. dancer. Oh, I dance in, in my home in private, joking around with Lena all the time. On, on private. Me in, dancing on, on TikTok. TikTok. I don't know. I think I need to lose 20 pounds. I think you say that all the time. I don't think I want to dance on my current body fat percentage. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> I just think I could look better right now. And then, but, I've, no one's saying you have to be dance. naked. Yeah, yeah. We don't want you. We you don't want to see you naked. Hoodie, but you don't, I don't want to see a fat man dance. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess you're fat. I guess you're if you fat. say so. Yeah. I'm not like fat, fat, but I feel like if I'm gonna dance on TikTok, I would be doing myself a favor. But do you have a, any TikTok people that you like yet? I no TikTok stupid. Sorry. TikTok people you can name off the top of your head: no. Addison Ray. I have no idea. Lil Huddy. <laughs> these are. I only can name a handful though. Who are these people? You know Addison Ray. She's huge. No. I Charlie know, D'Amico oh, or I whatever the fuck her name is. Because she did the. She made the sa- the Santa say. So I love that song. I still don't know what you're talking about. Great dance. You should uh, look into some TikTokers. We're gonna, we'll send. You just gotta find out about all the hype houses. Mm, okay. That's the house that they all they live, live together in. Right? House. There's that's another like, house now too. Really? Mm. So that's like Team Ten versus Cloud House. Yeah, but it's weird once you start to dig into these TikTok girls because they ain't really doing a whole lot. You start looking at this shit, they do the same dance all the fucking time. They just look too happy for me. You can't look happy all the time. I just don't really care about watching someone just do the same fucking the same stupid, stupid little dance. Like the like lip sync type things, like yeah, those shit's so corny. I'm okay. sorry. They're I, too pa- they're too know. happy. They're too up. I thought about making a TikTok, but I'm like, I don't think I'm happy enough. I've never felt older than when I think about this app. I was like Dude, right same. there for SoundCloud rap, didn't feel out of place at all, and then boom, TikTok. Nah, all right, I'm 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 good. That's how I feel as an artist trying to promote myself. I'm like, I do not want to do this. I don't. I'm sorry. You have to hire a company to do it for you. Yeah, I mean, I think it, as an artist, you just have to hire people to make dances for you instead of you being an actual person doing the yeah, dance. But there's so many embarrassing challenges and shit. There's so many, like, Pink legitimate challenges. rappers doing stupid fucking challenges that don't catch on, that Ugh. nobody ever starts to care about. Why John has a cool one? Only because I know how to do the dance. Why John oh, yeah. has a TikTok challenge? A uh, TikTok yeah. dance is it's actually like the pretty cra- The crazy dance. I'm so out of touch with the dances, though, that, like, Lena was like, oh, this this one dance that everybody keeps doing, this Meg Thee Stallion song. Oh, and I, that and, one. And oh, I'm like, crazy. you don't know what that I'm like, one I don't know what you're talking about. And then she shows me, and I'm like, oh, yeah, right. I have seen, like, a hundred people do that. Everyone did the same. <laughs> All you have to do is hear the song. You don't even have to do the dance at this point. Dun. Dunna, dunna, dunna. I don't even know what the fuck she's <laughs> that saying. That beat is kind of fire, though. Uh, I'm, a se- I'm a sexy, savage, ratchet. Bougie. It's right. crazy because her um her fucking label definitely did not like that wasn't like the priority single. Really? Yeah, like she had another single it was that Captain was Captain Hook. Out. Captain Hook was out first. This kind of like caught on its own, and then they just like that one's such a fucking it. TikToky song because it's like you know there's like you have three words like you just have to know sexy or fuck I don't even know I'm the a third savage, word. Savage, hey, classy, classy bougie, bougie, ratchet. ratchet. It's like uh, that's you, a perfect. TikTok you know, not today, but one day we're going to have a conversation about all of the different female rappers that the hip hop media basically tried to hype up and tell us were the next big thing that mm-hmm. never really like materialized into anything. Mm. I think that never not did. today, but one of these days, there's because there's a lot of people that like the energy has been behind them that people wanted to see them win. Yeah. And then it just kind of like didn't really materialize. I and want it's a sort segue, of, but it's going to be like a sad segue. No, because it bums me out too. It's not like I want to kick fucking dirt on any of their graves some of them but there's just a lot of weird stories that we don't talk about in terms of like people that like got hyped up a ton and then we never really you know and not even like they fucked yeah for sure it's just over the last couple years it's like there's been so many different like women that have been like pushed to the forefront possibly Mm -hmm. before they were really ready to be in that position you know that's I, why the prophecy of Hook is here to save all of them. And I mm. want to say rest in peace, China. I think she's very dope and wow. talented. Wow, was not thinking of her at all. That's but what I was holy shit, say, and that that's why I said so, I don't want to do a segue be, wow. that's gonna be really sad. And I don't no. think that she's one of those rappers that was pushed and never got there. I think she's actually very not very that she was and dope. pushed, but she definitely had like a moment that was a bit too early because you could totally imagine China coming out in 2018 and It'd having like huge. a a huge reaction and and people love her. Instead, yeah. yeah, man, that was, I mean, she was like ahead of her time, such an incredible person. I still remember just her telling me that she got into rap after being into death metal and That's being fine. a little astonished by that. But like, holy fuck, like, I don't feel like I've ever met anybody who said that to me yeah. in my life. <laughs> um, That's crazy. She listened to death metal and then got into rap. Dude, I cannot That's believe awesome. that she's gone. That is fuck, And I can't believe that happened a week ago already. 
It's R. just yeah, as fuck, it's bro. It's just sad as fuck. It's so crazy seeing Kalani talking about talking to her like earlier that day and shit. No, I th- who else? It, a lot of people. Bryson Tiller or something like that. So many people like Chuck English talking about just boom like. Yeah. I mean. I think. Um, I don't know. It just. And that happened in like two days after P Dog too. It was yeah. just the next day. It was like the next yeah. day. It's like holy fuck! How is this shit happening still? It's just fucked, man. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace to both of them. This you has know? been the No Jumper Show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, was fun. It's getting antsy. No, no but for sure, yeah, we're, it's definitely it's definitely done. You have to pee too. Yeah, I have to pee really bad. Um, stay tuned, guys. Uh, we are going to be taking donations and listening to your music. I can't even talk. Ah. Hey, checking on your loved ones, man. NoJumper.com. We got new condamas. Rest in peace. Pow. Kim, can you hurry?